apparently I'm good at hiding, so I could literally walk behind Cade and make a stealth check. I don't recommend doing that. <laughs> I would not recommend doing <laughs> that. Well, no, 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 no. Not against Cade, but like, if I'm worried about somebody okay. seeing me, I can disappear behind the party and then just build up back against my shit away. Sure, that's fair. That said, I think you've taken more than your fair share of punches to the face. No, that Kane. wasn't a punch in the face. I got stabbed in the chest hard by a war pit that knocked me out of a room. Yes. <laughs> that was unpleasant. Well, but he said I'm sorry. Did he, though? I don't think that he did. Shit, did you not? Oh. I was keeping track. I'm pretty sure that he did not say I'm sorry. He said, are you okay? Yeah, that was it. He expressed concern. Cassie is not used to people showing that kind of affection. I don't think Kate has ever apologized in his entire life. <laughs> That's true. Cassie you... assured that uh, Kate was sorry about that. <clears throat> How's it going, everyone? How are you? Okay. <clears throat> sweet, sweet. We're waiting on Bill. Bill will show up at a point sometime later. Like, he'll be here. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. We guys are so wild. We444 four is getting a notice saying this video is restricted to subscribers of We Are Foxhound. What? No, that doesn't make any sense. I'm not a partner. Hey, congratulations! No, it's on not. Partner. No, that's. That's so cool. I'm How not. Did this I'm not. I'm. A, not, I'm a, I, you're not a partner in B. You can't post good videos, can you? I thought they got rid of that feature. Oh, I, thank goodness. I don't Maybe know. Maybe they did it backwards and they accidentally restricted everyone. I didn't do so. What if it turns out that box. all Twitch viewers can only see things if they're a subscriber to me? But, That'd be real handy. Yeah, it would be really unfortunate because then no one could see anything on Twitch.com. Uh, no one can subscribe to you. <laughs> I, had that, I proposed that same idea uh, during a discussion earlier today where um, we are talking about like a stackable buff, and I was suggesting that each stack increases the user's um, bloom by 25%. <laughs> so eventually you don't have to have any draw calls. <laughs> it's, a good, it's a good idea. Um, yeah, that's just a little insider uh, look. Wait, who's that? Uh-oh. Who's that Pokemon? Hello. God, I really hope it's Bill. <laughs> the stream's gonna get real It's weird. Pikachu! Oh, okay. it's Bill, okay. hi. Good. It's not, not your neighbor. It's not Man. your neighbor. God damn it. <laughs> I was thinking maybe it was gonna be my neighbor, who was just like... Hey, I heard you were playing DD, Mike. Hey, I heard you were down a player. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, yeah. uh, uh, uh. Hi, Bill. How's it going? I'm destroying your stuff. You destroyed my stuff. That's so important too. The whole stream can be off now. Unbelievable. I feel so much less dampened. I have no reply to that. That's fine. Everyone's good. We four can see everything now, so we're free to. Yeah, we can actually play the game. First of all. Um, thank you for joining me. Secondly, uh, something that I forgot to mention at the very tail end of last week, everyone leveled up! Yay! Yay! Everyone is now level 14. It's true. Nice. Congratulations. Yay. Way to go. Everyone's gonna have a good time. Mm -hmm. Uh, we are picking up after a mission to the Plain of Water. You guys swam through the salty depths and went on a stealth mission into Lord Titulus's fortress, stealing back a, a literal engraven oath belonging to Zorak, as he was once known, now known simply as Zor, to avoid uh, a mimetic curse inflicted upon him by a friend that he trusted, yes, the halfling bard Cassia. I Cassia actually, the Magnificent, as she's known yeah, yeah, in the strange. Northern Lands. Uh, I, I actually enacted a binding ritual and then broke it just so I could get the Cassia the Magnificent proc off. And wow. It's the best. That's uh, impressive. But my tie with Lord Titulus was the very beneficial. Oh, well. So, so that's why you called Zor the Klutz then, right? Zorak, <laughs> Zorak the, the Klutz, yes. Zorak, Zorak the Klutz. The Klutz. Yeah. You don't long have to long say may he Zor. reign. You don't have to say it was Zor, but some do. It's, it's just we get so used to it. Just, yeah, yeah. Uh, we have returned to, to Kern. I can ask your permission. I am so sorry. Uh. <laughs> We've returned to Kern, and uh, uh, Aronis has made it clear that, um, uh, in his opinion at least, if you're continuing your mission against the Far Heralds, then the pillar in the lost city of Thamasku 
far off to the west beyond the barrier wastes is probably going to be your next destination. Uh, so we're going to pick up there in Kern. Uh, but there's been a little bit of... Yes? Did you just meow? Did you just... Are you like the, the scary ghost child from The Grudge? Did that ghost child meow? Is that a thing? Yeah. He made some animal sounds. Why? Because, because ghosts. He was a ghost. <laughs> I don't know enough about was, ghosts to argue with that. You know. Like, talking with people is what <laughs> wow. Yeah, racist. especially in my <laughs> stories, which you can find self-published no. on Amazon. No. Um, before I talk more about my ghost erotica, why don't we uh, join the party as they... Um, Reconnect after some training and some um, crafting that they've done in Kern in preparation for departure of sorts. I know that a couple of people definitely wanted to talk to the rest of the group. So why don't we say that we're doing that now before you guys uh, reconnoiter with um, Aronis. Marcus Sound good? Wants to learn magic. I'm sorry? Marcus wants to learn magic. Yeah. He learned how to read so he could read a spell. But Did you guys learn how multi-classing and wizard this, this level? Uh, uh, I magic so I can destroy it. Hey, and, for, and one of Antoria's teachers was a half giant illusionist. Well, how'd that work out for him? Actually, pretty well. Imagine Marcus, except he's invisible and all the damn time. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, he did die. He was, oh. like, he was only fourth level. That, wow. <laughs> what a scrub. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah, well, um, as people start reconvening, Kate would just be back in the in like this sort of shared space, just sort of pacing around. As he does. Looking very uh, grumpy, grumpy. Grumpy. Oh, so normal Kate. Grumpier. Oh. There, there is a stack of progressively more and more stale scones near you that uh, Casimir has left in a. Desperate attempt to cheer you up. It's not working. It's not, oh. but he is determined. That's cute. He's filled does, with determination. Does it make you feel better to stomp on them, though? No. Nothing makes Kate feel better. That's... Oh, man. You yeah. can tell that he's trying to bleed. There's, def <laughs> there's definitely some scones that show boot prints. <laughs> <laughs> if you have, like, the tracking feet, you'd be able to tell, like, stomped it and then pause. It's like, work. Yeah. And then it goes off pacing again. Anyone can make a survival check to, like, you know, check the pattern of dust, test the, the wind. Uh, this was stomp, stomped on Wednesday. <laughs> Excuse me, Homanu's Day. They're all Homanu's Day. <laughs> of course they are. <laughs> this is our Homanu's fifth day. Of, yeah. You no, know, calendars are really annoying to make when every day starts with Homanu's Day. <laughs> Sorry. So, we're we'll get his business out of the way really quick. It's easy. Everyone, he just gives everyone an extra healing free. It's just the oh. 2d4 plus. Uh, Mango's for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Where do you, where do you get in these? From here, the city. Oh! They actually have quite a few. Bam, thank you. Yeah. Mm. Uh, what, Can what I just like buy a dozen of those? Or actually, not yeah. anymore. Well, yeah. maybe not. Oh. 2d4 oh. plus... 2d4 plus what? 2d4 plus 2 this time? Instead of plus 3. If it's a regular yes. healing potion, it's just 2d4 plus 2, yes. 2d4 plus 2. Yeah. I had an old one that was 2d4 plus 3. I don't know why. Maybe it was a good flavor. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Extra right. And says, oh, thank you. It should come in handy. Where's mine? Actually, yeah, yeah sure. Yay! I bought extra. <laughs> thank you. Here, I'll trade you a scone. Aww. Oh, what a deal. Is, there a, is it? Wait. Is that a healing scone? Is it one scone? of the old ones that was sitting in front of Kate? No! No, he's, no, he's been, prepare, been preparing right, like a tray you. of these twice yeah, a day. It's like a machine over there. It's quite good. It's fresh and warm and fluffy. You gain 2d4 plus 2d4. <laughs> no. Yeah. Casimir's coming with us. Yeah. Yeah. Keep making scones. They Always heal us. Make forever. Kay, do you, do, you, do you want a scone? I do not. Oh. Hmm. It just gives you the tray. There. They're good. <laughs> Well, I'm glad that you're all enjoying your time here, but I'm going to get used to it. Well, yes, we are leaving. Boy. Do you really trust Telthus? I haven't decided yet. Leaning that way, I admit. He he's helped us considerably. He's a deceiver by his very nature. Even his name. Other than his name, what are you referring to? 
do you really, has anything, anything in this world led you to believe that a place like this could exist, that somebody like him could exist, that a sorcerer king of such great power could just decide that he's going to provide a paradise for everybody? Nothing more. Would you just like a kindly old grandfather. And besides, he did, de he did deceive us, making himself out to be a sun cleric at the table ends. We don't even really know what he was up to there. Supposedly gathering pilgrims? But if memory serves, uh, most of his people died, didn't they? They were, um... That's what he said. Yeah. So, but supposedly he couldn't keep them alive. Well, he's trying to hide the fact that he is a sorcerer king. But he's so then he just gathers us. a bunch of people and marches them in the, into the desert to die? Well, then aside, I'd like to go back to what you said earlier. You're saying no one can ever change. I didn't say Everyone that. In this group has changed quite a bit. I didn't say that. He was. He's given us more honesty, more information. What makes you believe that it's honesty? He's given us information. Information that matches everything that we we know and more, and it's given us huge steps, huge leads, and where to go. He helped us break Zorax binding. It was incredibly kind of him. He's revealed some of his greatest secrets to us as well. Yes. He's and saved us. And Tori has a spell to create food and water now. This is magic that we didn't think possible. And yeah. he helped us. He gave it to us. He has saved our lives twice and yes, I wonder countless times. from us. I mean, and I that nine, out. three times. And countless times could have simply allowed us to die by well, He the certainly has one. mechanisms for, or machinations for us. I don't know what those are yet, but... I have no objections to being suspicious. But at the moment, there's no evidence other than the unusualness of all of it. <clears throat> Hiding his identity is not necessarily offensive to me. I have to hide my identity going into any city-state with table lands. I think these masterminding are part of our own. But... I thought it crossed my mind, but it would be so much easier for him to just be rid of us. Rid of us. Unless he has machinations for us. Even just not interfering with us, he could have just let us die on a few occasions. It's quite a claim. I've been trying to figure out for a long time what exactly the Far Heralds could be trying to accomplish. I've been trying to figure out who in their right mind would decide to resurrect Alothra, who's going to, by his very nature, destroy the world. Again and again, we've heard it from the Far Heralds that they believe that all author is going to herald in this new world of green and wet, wet land, which makes no sense. It hasn't taken, it's no, not it's taken us, been. it hasn't taken us long to understand that that's not the nature of this beast. Unless you're going to resurrect all author, you will defile the world. Him and Prince Boris, as we have seen, are fated to destroy each other in single combat. And then you spread your tree of life and bring everything back and you have a paradise that only you can command. I mean, it's also possible that this great off we've heard of a few times could be behind the bar as well. It has not taken much for us to realize that, the, that any idea of him bringing about a paradise, of author bringing about a paradise, is bullshit. The only thing, the one thing we have found in this entire world that could make that happen is here. And it is the only thing that could turn what Ulothra is going to do, what he is definitively going to do, written in books that we have found all over the Tablelands. The Far Heralds are not idiots. They can cross, they can cross boundaries of worlds. We're dealing with spellcasters on level with you. They can't be easily deceived. You can't just tell them, oh, this, this octopus is going to make the world great again and have them believe it. You have to have something to pitch to them. It's true, but again, look what the spirit did. Completely controlled them. You know? We have not experienced anything to indicate that the Far Heralds have been controlled in any way. For one thing, we have an Arcanist who would have known. For another thing, we have met Far Heralds who are not being controlled. What races were the Far Heralds? All, all manner. All. Some I didn't even recognize. Which ones? Uh, there was a Medusa Lady one. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I assume Mentoria doesn't have any clue what I'm No, no, is. absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the Earth one, right? Yeah, yeah. it was the stone one. Stone, oh, specifically, because he turned Marvin to stone briefly. Yes. <laughs> He'll remember to project because of your uh, position. Right. 
right. Because of all yeah. that. As that leader. Buffer foam. As, yes. <laughs> I don't want to act like I have all the answers. I don't know what Keltus wants from us or what he plans to do as far as our relationship to the Far Heralds or whatnot. But there's only one thing that indicates to me that the Far Heralds could have any sort of end game that would make any sense at all. And it's here. And Keltus controls it. Did the we sorcerer, wanna... from what we remember from our time out there, the Sorcerer Kings don't win when the world's destroyed. No, he and in fact, Keltus very recently, earlier today, said, I'm going to take care of them. Which we know, by his nature of his power and the refusals that he's made, he can't do. The far we Heralds... know from our own memories that Hamanu would destroy him unless he has another means to tackle them. And Toria looks a little uncertain in what you just started saying. The Far Heralds are trying to enact the original plan. Destroy the world, wipe out every bit of life on there, and bring it back to the way it was. Well, we assume those two. We also don't necessarily know for sure exactly what they're going to do with the Projects. I mean, <laughs> other than the fact that multiple ones, including the ones that we have spoken like on friendly terms, have all said that as their unified vision. Everything Aronis wants to do is to skip the wipe everyone out part. He wants to do the tree before the world is destroyed. He wants to be able to skip the wipe everyone out and go for a what, more harmonious end. What he he knows himself. He has said that if a single sorcerer king finds out what's going on up here, they're going to destroy everything he's worked for. And yet, what do you think his next step is? Do you think he's going to just plant the trees and then sit here? As soon as he exposes himself to the tablelands, he is going to be at war. He the must have a plan. Kings he's are not the a fool. The sorcerer kings are the ones going down the path of the dragon. He is not. He's going a different way. I understand that, and the way that he is going, he may believe is right in his mind. There's a few contradictions here we have to work out if we're going to continue with this theory. If he's found out, he's in trouble. We agree on that, yes? Yes. Yeah. But you're suggesting that every Far Herald out there is aware of this plan, including the ones whose minds I've read, and never picked up any hint of it. Well, I mean, he is a psionicist. He is, and I might believe that they could hide it from me, but remember, if Drothinus captured one all on his own, you can be certain he probably interrogated the fellow rather intensely. Well, they may or may not have access to those memories, but whether or not they're operating on them. I mean, you've said it yourself that, well, multiple of you have recommended that we have Celtus ravage our brains before we leave this place. I have never recommended that course of action. I do recommend that we at least forget the way to get here. Because if we leave with the knowledge of how to get back to this place, it'd be pretty easy for any other sorcerer king to clean that from us. It's a nice idea, but Cade will never agree to it. Well, Cade's the one who would most quickly. Then he won't. The rest of us could if we ought to on our own terms. It won't matter if Cade doesn't agree to it because you seem to. We do know about. Sorry, out of character. We do know Cade's actual reason for being here, right? To investigate Sorcerer King. He's been yeah. very clear about yeah. that. Yeah. His yeah, whole purpose in being here is to investigate. He's not a liar. Yeah. To, well, I didn't know if he was forthcoming about the details of it, but his whole purpose in being Cut here away to Cade is playing to poker. investigate the Sorcerer I have a king. Kings yeah. and report to Hamanu. Then Hamanu king of the world. world. But to be fair, the Sorcerer Kings we've run into so far, many, but enough, have only taken interest in certain individuals, they haven't written all of our minds, as far as we know anyway. It'd be safer that way still. Safer what? Hamanu is going to find out from his own Templar. That I kind know. of blows the whole thing out of the water. Well, I have no so. idea what Hamanu's goals are, what he wants to do, but it doesn't seem like he's necessarily imparting everything with all the other far, uh, with all the other sorcerer kings from what we've heard so far. But then again, I don't know who which shows our kings or allies or which ones are foes and which ones are against us and which ones are with us. But that does bring up a good point. I've been sent here to investigate sorcerer kings for potential links to far realms. Now nothing's guaranteed, but the king of the world himself said that he believed that one of these two sorcerer kings who receded from the table lands could be responsible for this. Could be, granted, could be. nothing's guaranteed. But there are two, that. and we have met two. And I do not believe it was Daskinor, man. The city and brain are rotten. 
The one who literally was in the process of resurrecting a person who the Far Heralds were undertaking his plan? Daskoer like is in no condition to mastermind something like the Far Heralds. He was, he was literally bringing back, what was it, the Warbringer? He's, he's obsessive with, yeah. Rajat, with, well, with Rajat the Warbringer, but yes. he is not the captain of the Far Heralds. But Herald. Rajat the War, he was the one who wanted to do exactly what the Far Heralds are doing. If anyone's... Sides are aligned. It's that did, side. Did you meet Daskinor? It could also be the. You haven't. You haven't. Ex you haven't experienced the Far Heralds the way we have. They are not the random. They have. They are extremely well organized. We're talking about beings on a level where they have drawn us into other dimensions. They are not going to follow a senile old man living in a city of dust and stolen flesh. Again, Daskinor was, was a fool. It's possible that they're just leaning on his power, using him as well. Even if he's not the leader of them, their interests did align. They're on the same side. Potentially. Mm -hmm. I actually we think you're right about before. that one. Deskinor and the Dust and the Far Heralds. I just don't see it. He had he had a city of dead people. It's, he is not a captain of the Far Heralds. I promise you that. It's just hard As to imagine. As a leader, him, I will tell you that for certain. It's just hard to imagine him organizing a plot that involves that much interaction with others. He didn't seem up for it. No, well, not at all. This is all well and good, but what do you propose? We don't have any evidence. I wouldn't want to strike out against someone who's helped us so much when we have nothing against him other than we think he might be the one that could be the His crime is he was too nice to us, so we don't trust him. <laughs> like, no, no that's, that's seriously your entire no. thesis here is this guy's no. actually been nice, and this place is pretty no, I'd like, I'd like to to something. I, mean, I would like to remind you, Cassia, the number of times that I have warned you not to believe in the kindness of Sorcerer Kings, and the number of times you have been stabbed in the back by that. That is two for two now. Remember. Remember that you believed in your king in Balak, and you believed in Tecto Title, and both of them betrayed you, and you left hurt. You can choose to do a third, that's fine. So, point of order, neither of them actually betrayed Cassia. I mean, Ca what? Cassia what? came out very upset by, from her memories, remember? From the memories? Sure. So, uh, back in character. Ni <laughs> I remember what they did. But neither of them acted against me. Do you remember sobbing, I voted for you, when he threw you to a literal beast to make his own escape? He didn't. What? You no, no, literally no. said in the middle of that fight, you said, I voted for you, I and did, he didn't no, no, protect no. you. That I, did I happen. didn't say, I voted for you, he didn't protect me, but he didn't throw me to the beast. I'm, call, I'm saying your words. Again, you can choose to believe whatever naivete you'd like. I'm willing to go to Thamasco and see what's there. We need to investigate these pillars anyway. But I do not believe in your king here in Kern. Well, perhaps if we run into another Far Herald, we can interrogate them. We absolutely question can. Question them and find out what they know about this place. I will say that having the right questions to ask might make a difference in an interrogation. I can mm -hmm. only ask about what I know. But until then, I don't see us acting out against this currently benefactor of ours. Frankly, did, it's premature. Did, did I, we have specific instruction on what to do with the pillar once we find it? I mean, same as Lock it as done. we always have, using Chevron. But regardless, we've mostly exhausted our resources here anyway. Keltus has helped us about as much as he, to his own admission that he can. I hope that none of you are planning to hang out in this field trip for the rest of forever. We do have business in the tablelands. Agreed. It is awfully pleasant here. Yes. I would be wary of that if I were you. I, I'm saying that's not a good thing. A little too <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I think he meant he was bored. <clears throat> yes. Ah, well, that I can agree with. It has been interesting studying a different type of magic, but as you say, we're not here to go to school. We should be wary. You're right. Yes, do be cautious about trusting everything that this man says. And do not forget who he was. He is not Aronis, he is Keltus. He is as, he is as responsible for the genocide as anyone. Yes, as, as anyone. responsible as Samana. Of course. I have no issues with what my king did. Really? Why do you have issues with what only everyone but your king did? Why is I he... don't. I have, I have no issues with Keltus' actions in the past. I have, I have issues with what I believe he is going to do. I don't want to see the tablelands wiped out. That is what we're fighting for. That's what I believe his end goal is. So, no, I've never, I've never spoken out against the sorcerer kings for how they rose to power. That was your issue. I know well the history of this world. I was raised in a school, after all. I was raised in the company of Templars and sorcerer kings. I understand these things. 
That's where it was the school. Okay, there you go. How uh, I assume that it wasn't like, like, we probably didn't get like point for point timelines. They didn't bring out, they didn't wheel out the little uh, cart with the <laughs> movie projector on it. Like, so, so my, my perception of Templar School would be, all the other Sorcerer Kings are weak, this is the only good one. Yeah, exactly. This it's is the only cute. true one, and all the other tales of the other Sorcerer Kings' glories are grossly exaggerated. Yes. And that does not buy at the all with the memories of the The problem parents. is that both the school in Yurik and the memory of what happened during the Cleansing Wars both point to Hamanu being pretty badass. <laughs> <It's> true. <laughs> I mean, literally the only one who was not well, it, on level. Well, even, even Khaled Ma, when he made his little hierarchy of here's where the Sorcerer Kings are, of course he put himself at the top, but Hamanu was like number two yeah. on the list. Just plus up there. Yeah. Well, no, he was number three, I think. The dragon. The dragon. Was the dragon and Dragoth <laughs> were uh, yeah. the next after. Uh, oh, Hamanu got this. Yeah. Under Dragoth. I mean, <laughs> admittedly, we didn't spend time researching thousands of years of history, but again, I know what happened in the Cleansing War. I know the power that he brought to the table for the other sorcerer kings. I didn't know about Prince Boris, or King of the other Prince, Prince Boris, but well, at the moment, we aren't really trusting him for much of anything. We would need to investigate the city regardless. Right. Just be wary. Especially you. If you wish. Seems a little annoyed with the singling out. Somebody, somebody's on the jelly. Yeah. Uh, no, he's, he's handing at Tori at Tori's dream. Like, like Arona's cost the back. Uh, for what it's worth, I'm not the bar host. Yeah. He's <laughs> just there in the back the whole time. Uh, guys, I'm right here. As far as I have is given to understand, the Tree of Life is a rather slow process of fixing defiling. Yeah. It he won't even be ready to. Live forever. So. Um, he does. I don't necessarily yet. Wow. Well. That would be a lot less funny event where I hadn't de-aged ten years no. earlier. Yeah, Candles <laughs> would have given you a look, but... <laughs> that's, that's true. Uh, Antorio was much older before you met him. <laughs> what, what, what happened? He was, in, he was in his late 20s. He's in his early 20s now. <laughs> he's, yeah. he's not I'm planning what... Yeah. And then the house sprang down. Yeah. <laughs> I forget exactly what was it that happened. It was a potion, he, right? uh, he drank a potion. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That a certain party member stole for him. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. That that's was one true. of the other thefts. <laughs> yeah. That's true, that's true. Zetas' legacy. Of course he ran off with the other three, which is a little grumble. He did, he did. Well <laughs> these things happen. And yet and yet it somehow feels appropriate. Do you remember uh, everyone here watch Record of Lotus War? Yeah. Um it's well, great. yeah, I remember it being good. Well, um, it's great. I don't, I haven't watched it in a long time, but it's an anime based on a D&D campaign. And one of the things that was interesting about it is that there's characters that match up with a lot of the different classes, and the rogue at one point just takes off, and it's not terribly satisfying from a storytelling perspective necessarily, but it's very appropriate to the idea of, like, this guy literally is not a hero, and he proves it by leaving. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, uh, if you guys have, uh, concluded your discussions and such, and by all means, I'm not saying that you need to have... Okay to set his beast. Yeah, um, and we have heard many, many of the rebuttal, but, uh, Aronis is waiting for you in his sanctum to discuss... Right behind us. Your... No, no, absolutely not. <laughs> He's just, like, around the corner, <laughs> peeking around, like... He, he just looks, he looks a little hurt. There's, like, one tear rolling down his Aww. cheek. <laughs> No, not in the slightest. He doesn't spy on his house guests. Yeah. But he is waiting for you when you have time uh, up in the sanctum. Uh, you guys uh, head to the top of the mushroom fortress that he uses as the mage's academy here and welcomes you all. Ah, good, good, good. Hope you're all uh, well rested, ready for this uh, journey. Terrific. Well, well, I've been uh, working with your uh, captain, Tiberius, to uh, outfit the Ram 4 with some upgrades, some stuff that will allow us to uh, better better sail uh, on the land. I think it'll be a, a much better means of conveyance if you're heading across the barrier wastes. Yes, sail on land? Is that normally possible for any kind of silk ship Antori would have heard of? It's, so, weirdly, um... It's just a giant tank. No, it's not... <laughs> I mean, I know they have, like, they do have tanks. the bottom. Yeah. They do have, um... So you have heard, definitely, of, um sailing land vehicles. However, they're usually much, much smaller than a silt ship. And a lot of that has to do uh, with um, 
wind direction. On the salt sea, you can predict better where the winds are going to go and sail up and down the coast. On land, you don't really have that sort of predictability, and the terrain usually is chaotic enough that unless you're just staying on the road anyway, it doesn't make a lot of sense to use a silt ship, uh, or a sailing ship anyway. But, heading across the barrier wastes, where there's not a lot of roads, there's not a lot of physical formations and stuff like that, you can make your way across if you can harness the wind. Aronis explains. <laughs> That's quite an achievement. Well, it's that much more uh, handy to have a set of sails that generated their own wind. You should be able to travel the wastes at your uh, convenience, so to speak. Which I encourage you to do. Certainly we need to find Thamasku, and I can tell you that it's out there somewhere, and I've... Well, it's... Um, I'm, I wish I could just tell you, oh, it's here, and point you in that direction, but even in the times where I've seen the outskirts of it, it's been in a different place than the last time I saw it. There's some sort of sorcery at work that either shrouds its location and moves it from place to place. The city itself may actually shift physical location. What does it look like? The city itself? Is there anything we might recognize in the game? You're familiar with uh, the ruins of the Blue Age, yes? Yes. It resembles uh, the architecture there, but on a far grander scale. No doubt you'll recognize it when you see it, but you'll have to look long and hard. You may be able to uh, find some trace of it, some rumor of where it currently uh, resides or where it could be found. The barrier wastes hold many dangers, but also many ancient ruins, many uh, things that may help you in this or your future journeys. You should take the time to explore while you can. Does it seem reasonable to Cassia that a pillar would be moving around? Uh, difficult to say. Okay, because her impression of them had been that there were... If these guys are to be believed, you've, uh, there's a floating island out there somewhere, so... Does it have a pillar? Uh, the, the fortress of Discardes does not have a pillar. Uh, but there is physical phenomena out there that, um, seems like it wouldn't invalidate the idea of a pillar that moves around. Oh, then again, she, was, but, she was thinking about, like, the pillars are linked to a thing. Sure. And so the idea that it's moving around while still tethered to the other. It's a Wi-Fi hub. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think they're necessarily like a landline. Nah. I think it's more like they just have to have a power source or something like that. It's so like a real long extension cord. But, they're like, they're like <laughs> but as Arona says, he's not sure whether it's physically moving or whether it's just disguising it's itself in some way. Displacement, displacement illusion, perhaps. Mm, on a grand scale, tremendous. Yeah. Any ideas on how frequently it might shift around? I have no idea. I've traveled the barrier wastes in my time, but I've uh, simply no. There's, yes. Sorry, there's a yes, you, you oh, in the back. <laughs> so excited! Ah, food. food. <laughs> ah, mantis. <laughs> oh no! Bugs are so gross. Ah. Oh wait. Yeah. Oh. But uh, it's while certainly a, a place of great renown, not been a priority for me until now. Was this the city of a sorcerer king, or...? The city of Thamasku is a relic of the Blue Age. Its residents uh, abandoned it in the midst of the cleansing wars, but it was never resettled by one of my kind. They have settled here in the Tablelands, or south in the Tablelands. Well, we'll find it. I have no doubt. What else can I help you with before you set off on your way? I think you're good. I actually have one more question. Um, Are you in charge of the Far Heralds? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please. Did you do Please. it? it was you. I cast Cassia. Zone of oh. Truth. Oh, no, he's like, Cassia can't ask. If I ask, ask him can't. directly, he has to say yes or no. It's, it's a lot. Yes, I'm a cop. Yeah. <laughs> he, he just like stamps on Zora's foot. Uh, yeah. No. Dude. Anyway. <laughs> Whatever happened to the blue one, Marvin? The great towering titan of flesh, like. We never really found out Burned what happened year. after we all passed out. You saved us. Yeah. Missing the heart of we, the we need to know if there's a titan of flesh out there that we may run into again. No, <laughs> the, flesh the, that's, uh, that particular incarnation has been reduced to dust and ash. Um, I, I don't expect that Daskinor's machinations will come to pass anytime soon. Daskinor doesn't possess the heart of the 
No, that remains in Boreas' sanctum. So long as the dragon holds reign over his grim city, I don't think anyone has anything to fear from Brajat's return. Well, that's, good. that's one good thing the dragon has done for us. <laughs> he is, if nothing else, a source of stability. I don't agree with his... The, the, the world that he chooses to reign over, but it is stable, I'll give it that. Not sustainable, but stable. Well, any world without Marvin is probably a better one. Mm. Well, I uh, wish you a successful journey. And obviously, if I can be of any help whatsoever, you know where to find me. Of course. Thank you for all you've done. Thanks. Of course. I'll see you when you return. Cassie hugs him. Oh, he gives you a hug back. <laughs> Actually, he uh, kneels down and he looks in you, at you and says, I don't know what you'll find, but I hope that whatever you find helps reaffirm who you are. A good person trying to do good in the world. She hugs him again and tears up. Kate throws up. <laughs> 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 oh, she, yeah. All of you, you're all. I know that you've come to this place pursuing different things, doing. living different lives than you ever could have imagined your lives coming to this point. But I'm grateful to, put, to place my trust in you. We're trying not to kill you. I have no doubts. Is a respectful <clears throat> nod, bow, type thing. Somewhere in between the two. <laughs> it's a, it's an owl. You give an owl. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a sort of respectful bow, nod. Sure, sure. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. I'm going to explain it. Jeez. It's, it's that shit up sort of like sup thing. <clears throat> More detail, please. Peace out. <laughs> Run it on yourselves. So you guys uh, continue uh, uh, on your way out back through the uh, valley down to Old Kern, where uh, Tiberius has the, uh, the boat ready. Casimir is already here. Yay! Uh, all excited to, to get going. Did we ever get the burn back problem? <laughs> Absolutely, no, okay. yeah, 100%. He didn't just, got, just like fly the boat. I got it back from him and was holding it for you, so nope, the, 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 Started in a direction and jumped off. <laughs> <laughs> now it's partied up with the boat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually there's going to oh, be an entire party. Fucking boat. The boat will come in flying on top of the broom. <laughs> exceeds the weight limit. <laughs> oh. It probably does. Um, as you guys are headed towards uh, the ramp for, um, uh, Jin runs up to the party and says, uh, Cade, Cade, uh, you, you guys are have, you, you're heading out, huh? Very soon, yes. You're going to uh, save, save the world or whatever. Supposedly, yes. That's, that's great. Um, I guess we'll... Are, are you coming back here afterwards, or what's what's? Um... I believe that we're based in Kern enough that we'll at least have to stop back here. Cool, for cool. And All right. Not. But our ultimate goal is in the table. We're not we're not here to make a home. No, of course, of course. I I wouldn't. Uh, no, that's. Um, you know, just good luck. Um, I guess. Just, uh, Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> like start to, like start to start to walk because he's an idiot. Cassian is just watching this and yeah. dying. Yeah, yeah. Carry the fire. <laughs> Kate's never been kissed in his life. By by everyone else. I, I, I didn't really get to meet a lot of your friends, but well, you know, maybe maybe next time. <laughs> We actually, yeah. we actually did talk a little bit at the pool, and so yeah, Cassia yeah, yeah. gives a fonder goodbye, <laughs> while, while also just clearly having a look on her face if she knows exactly what just happened. Jim runs <laughs> off. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's like, uh, it's right now, it's like, Katie's just going, yeah, Katie's just walking, like, just cocks his head. Victoria makes an insight check. <laughs> and doesn't seem to understand what everyone else yeah. is upset yeah. about. <laughs> what? <laughs> Two men who have never, ever, ever kissed a girl. <laughs> Same. Uh, so, uh, Tiberius is here. He's got uh, some some local laborers are sort of helping him uh, get everything set up. Um, Antoria, as you're climbing aboard the Ram 4, 
Uh, <laughs> 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 the silver. <laughs> yeah. There's a handicap ramp. <laughs> <laughs> like throwing out ropes for everybody and then just wheel out the ramp. <laughs> There's a basket. Thank you. It's unseemly for a wizard to climb You're, ropes. You're uh, climbing aboard and you run into uh, someone familiar. You bump into Boro. Not that familiar. Who is he? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Goro's Ouch. brother. Yeah, Goro's Boro. brother. He gives you a big forearm hug. No, Boro is the uh, Yurikari laborer oh, who told you your mother was. Thought... He's not a dwarf. Oh, I'm sorry. You Jesus monster. Right. <laughs> it was oh, half a year ago. Oh, All of them and leave on Antoria. It was half a year ago. I didn't mean really Did you think we were a thing because I gave you a hug? Yeah. Trick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Sorry, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you tell me about this guy? I clearly don't remember. Um, <laughs> okay. Cassia no. dies again. All right, all right, all right. Boro. <laughs> oh my god. Boro was. Stinkinets! <laughs> Boro was a member of the caravan uh, of refugees uh, heading south towards Kaladne. <clears throat> with the water curse? Yes, yes. With, with the water curse. He used to be a slave. <coughs> Excuse me. Jeff, would you grab me some water, actually? He was a slave for... He was a slave for House Alano at one point, as a matter of fact. Uh, but more importantly, he knew who uh, uh, Antoria's mother was and revealed that she was still alive. And refused to go with the party because he knew the look of them. Because <laughs> Cade literally enslaved him at one point. Yeah. He's a smart guy. So we know that about Boro. He sees Cade and just dives off the ship. But more story. notably, he's here and he's still alive. Boro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, good, I'm, good save. Yeah. I, was <laughs> I was wondering. I, I grew a beard. Yeah. I'm trying to try a new thing. Didn't expect to see you this far north. Yeah, well. Turns out uh, Paradise was uh, the, the opposite direction. Indeed. How many of the others made it here? Oh, all of us. Indeed. Yeah, well. That's excellent news. Hey, Herbie. Okay. Oh. No, that's mine. Oh, I see now. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Bill. Oh, thank God. Well, turns out, uh, pick up a sun cleric along the way. Good luck. Turns out it's, uh, better luck than you expect. Indeed. You're still alive. Oh. This one's still alive too. Indeed. Yep. Did you, uh, you wind up touching base? I did meet my mother before she passed away. Unfortunately, she was not able to tell me who my father was. Mm. I already died. Who she thought my father was died. Mm. But I later received evidence that. Whoever that sounds complicated. <laughs> anyway, it is actually. Anyway, yes. I'm real sorry about your mom, but Thank uh, you. you know it's good uh, good being able to see her. Yeah. So you guys are uh, taking this out to the wastes, huh? Looking at the boat. I can hardly believe it myself. I've never heard of such a large ship being able to go on land. Apparently, uh, got some witchcraft in the sails. You know anything about uh, witches? <laughs> Cassie slowly slides away. A little. I saw one. Leans in close. I saw one riding a broom. <laughs> what <did I> say? <laughs> <laughs> of course, in turn, that's not surprising. We practice openly here. Yeah, they, er, everyone's got brooms. I suppose, suppose I'll get used to it sometime, but... Uh, you know, old habits die hard. Witches. Yeah. Well, lines luck. Uh, oh, um, they they say uh, carry the fire here. So uh, I don't know if I'll get used to that either. Lions luck go be with you. Yeah. With you. Finishes tying up the rigging and goes away. Carry that line. <laughs> carry that line. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Casimir is standing on the prow of the boat, going like this, even though it hasn't moved, it's parked. 
So just like we first met him. Absolutely. Yeah, that's, over here. Literally how that's I his idol. <laughs> over here a moment, uh, Casimir. And Hello! As well. One thing that has changed since the last time we went traveling is we can now create food and water out of thin air. I would recommend not using our actual supplies unless we absolutely need to. I've prepared the spell, and whenever we need a meal, we'll have one. And thanks to Tori's teachings, I too am able to do this as well. So. Yeah, me too. What can you make? <laughs> I can make... Scones. That's why he has so many. He just <laughs> learned to summon scones. It's true. <laughs> scones and water. Oh, yes! <laughs> anyway, that's good to know. The secret is out. <laughs> I'm not the chef that I claim to be. <laughs> I don't deserve this recipe book. Deck. <laughs> oh, that's right. It's true. I tried to follow the directions, but it's hard. There's so many. You accidentally made stones instead. Uh, <laughs> Just well, keep practicing at it. And you'll get the hang of it. <laughs> it took me a long time to learn how to do the things I do. Just have to but you're so young. <laughs> you're like a baby. <laughs> How old are you? Toria seems to hesitate oddly. Twenty. Have you been drinking this whole time? <laughs> Is that legal? Of, that's the secret of his magic. Cade, arrest this child. <laughs> <laughs> Tori, after an unseemly amount of hesitation, finally says 22, which is not quite correct, actually, because he literally has, I mean, it's not like he has a little beer yeah. that says he's 20 years old. Kesmer will make an insight check. <laughs> hmm. I believe you wholeheartedly. <laughs> uh, makes one of us. Tiberius approaches and is, of course, oh, drinking. Yes. <laughs> if anyone could be counted upon to be drinking. Actually, I'm thinking maybe he's gone a little bit dry since getting to Kern. Things have turned around for Tiberius. He's back on the boat. He needs to get his uh, sea legs and his silt legs back. I thought he was there when he was drunk. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I think uh, we ought to be able to uh, head pretty much wherever we like. I haven't uh, driven on land before, but uh, I'm given to understand the workings of these sails. We just point and uh, they'll fill right up. Cool offer. Well, be about the size of I don't <laughs> recommend doing that. <laughs> Go to the bucket. A few steps. <laughs> well, well. No, no of, skips. Yeah. From the <laughs> of it, there are plenty of old ruins and whatnot to explore along the way. I wouldn't normally call myself a treasure hunter. We have a lot more important things to do, but this may be our opportunity to find evidence of a, a forge for Shivram given the nature of the architecture out this way. Mm -hmm. Indeed. So that would be fortunate. Certainly. Fortunate. <laughs> well, Thank you. We have the, <laughs> what the hell? We have the Tyrene steel, and if the fellow, hopefully this forge comes with a smith, and hopefully he's interested Just in... Just waiting. <laughs> hey! Hey, look at all that! It's like in like an RPG. You go to yeah. the bottom of a volcano, the, welcome to my store! There was a little, <laughs> there was a little hint of sarcasm there. <laughs> But assuming we can find someone who can operate it, we certainly have enough gold to throw at them, assuming they're interested in such. Ow! Ow! Stop! I'll merge whatever you want! Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> okay, so, uh, in front of you, you see a hex grid. There's a little boat on it! There is a little boat! It's three and four. So the blue star square is where you guys start. Okay. Okay, so. It's like Wind Waker? Is this gonna be like, uh, uh, Etrian Odyssey? It's n it's more like Curious Expedition than Etrian Odyssey. Oh, um, that's good because that mini game is so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so here's what's going on. Each square, or excuse me, it's each hex, Aww. each hex. Uh, you can travel through each hex if you're just traveling through it one a day. You can, however, explore a <laughs> the Fangly Fish. <laughs> You can explore a hex that you're on by making a survival check. Additionally, you can make a more difficult survival check to survey the... Uh, uh, actually, you can use survival or perception for this. Um, you can use that to survey nearby adjacent hexes to see if it's worth trying to uh, explore either of those. So is that a, is that a group? Like, well, how does that roll? Do we have, like, one avatar who rolls it, or do we all roll? Or so, is it like a combined thing, like when we were driving? So you guys, as a group, will decide to do um, one, of, one of those courses of action, either just traveling straight through it, exploring the one that you're on, 
or scanning the horizon basically and basically like looking around the perimeter seeing if there's something more tantalizing in an adjacent hex which if you if you find something that just means it's worthwhile to explore okay. that one you still have to go there mm -hmm. and then explore got it um any of those three actions basically takes you a day um traveling straight through means you're basically just traveling at a decent clip um you're spending more time in a given area by exploring it um so uh, if there are things looking for you or that you have a chance to encounter you'll have a greater chance if you do that each time we move there's not a terrasque <laughs> oh, on the map <laughs> and I, guess, I guess until further notice, Antori will be using create food and water each day. To yes, that's fair. Supplement the supplies. No, actually, so on the the mention of the Tarrasque, uh, as Zora has been known to joke about, <clears throat> uh, Tiberius chimes in that uh, uh, no, as a matter of fact, uh, the Lord Aronis uh, says that uh, you know with with Yarnath's forces still uh, circling the Silt Sea, send some decoys of some kind up north. Hopefully, uh, that'll take him off our trail, at least for the time being. Hmm. <clears throat> what kind of food and water do you make, anyways? Uh, I suppose food. Bland. It's <laughs> the water is the water is remarkably good. I'll say that. Yeah. Much. Squeaky Lobo says hexes. Magic is illegal. By the, by the, by the standards of Athos, the and water, he's right. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, please. By the standards of Athos, the water is probably amazingly high quality. Yeah. The food, unfortunately. Mm, yeah. You probably want to put some seasoning on it. It's basically like eating saltine crackers. I get that it's like, it's hard. Yeah, it specifically says that the bland, is bland. But nourishing. Yeah. But My favorite. Yeah, it's like it's, saltine it's crackers. It's probably, like, it's probably porridge. Like, or, yeah. Straight. Porridge or would also be in the right yeah. category. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's white bread. <laughs> no, I said nourishing. Even white bread's kind of tasty. Crustless. Not every day. Forever. <laughs> it, doesn't have to be the same. it doesn't have to be the same bland. It's food. not Cheerios, but it's the bottom of the shelf cereal that looks like Cheerios. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, that comes in a bag. Yeah, exactly. uh, They're all Rhinos. Uh, uh, <laughs> hey, if you and your family are responsible for that, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sure, you, I'm sure you guys are great. We were real poor. Hey, sponsor, sponsor our stream. You know, we'll leave them on stream for money. Yeah, absolutely. We'll you literally guys. do what you think for money. That's true. Throw, throw gold at us. We'll forge whatever you want. Driver's licenses? <laughs> Whatever. Okay, back to the video game. Mm -hmm. so, uh, the, so the question I was posing was when we make those rolls, is that done as a group or do we make Yes, so or what we're going to do... Yes, so uh, for both things you can make either a survival check or a perception check. If someone wants to chime in with some other kind of a check that they feel like they could reasonably make, <laughs> so I have a question. Before we yeah. leave, yeah. Be, uh, our throw check. the boat. Just... Before we leave Kern, do we know this is what we're getting into, or we're going to be like scanning the horizon? Yes, absolutely. Could I buy a spyglass and get bonuses on searching? Uh, nowhere has a spyglass for sale. Nope. Okay. They have healing potions, but <laughs> I cool. think yes, engineering. I drink yeah. all yeah. the potions. That's, that's a little bit too uh, scientifically advanced, I think. They would probably well, use like there are there are spy glasses in the D and D PHP. Yeah, absolutely. That's for like a for like yeah. yeah yeah absolutely. Oh, I see. Yeah, this is a, you know it's it's a paradisical society, but it's still a swords and sorcery kind of realm. Like there's not like elevators and pulley systems and stuff. Except for all the elevators we've been on. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> also held back by being a world where literacy is illegal. Yeah. Well, yeah. but a spy class when you're on the silt sea would have actually been used by people, not so much literacy. Wouldn't it get clogged with silt? I don't know that that's how they work. All the gears would get caught up in silt. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I'm sorry. I don't think uh, a spyglass quite makes sense. Okay. Where we start? Can um, we? No, no. Oh. But uh, sorry. Where we start? Are, yes. Do we explore there, or we have to move first, basically? Like, uh, I can tell you that there's nothing to explore in the hex that you're in. Probably um, right should explore. Prior to just probably to make sure it's pretty. Yeah. Pretty also, <laughs> please don't go uh, further north or south off the map. Like, like over here. I mean, you can go there, absolutely. Oh, but, we scoot. No, oh, I see. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We scoot north. The so, ship spins out and we go back to. <laughs> so no, we don't loop around to the other side. It's like, haha, the shortcut. <laughs> So north is the lava gorge where you guys went and visited oh, yeah. the Swarns. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, well, you can go there, but we're gonna just uh, load a different scene. <laughs> 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 
Oh, this will go to switch back to this one. Uh, south is the Road of Kings, so if you were really inclined to go back to Draj, Rom, or Uruk, nope. then that's where you <laughs> would go. Again. Nope, nope, nope. All right. <laughs> Ever uh, again. Nope, nope, nope. Uruk eventually. <laughs> Maybe. We'll yeah, see. One day. Yeah. If you get high enough level. Once you're a sorcerer, yeah. yeah we'll Draj 6 should... is free to reign and do whatever he's doing. Perhaps we should <laughs> survey the uh, land ahead before we move on. Agreed. Yeah. I do I trust today? Can Cassie like hop on her room and sort of get like an aerial thing going? Or? Are you gonna explore the hex that I told you wasn't worth exploring? No, we're exploring. surveying. No, we're doing yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We what, what, what survey? Perception or, or survival. survival. Perception. Perception or survival. 16. Oh, that's the same for me. Or uh, 19 and 13. 22. 22. 7. All right, hang on. <clears throat> what did you get? 22. 7. 22. 19 and, oh, sorry. 16. 19 and 13. <clears throat> um, so let's just simplify this. Let's just, uh, the, the target that you're trying to reach is 15. Okay. So, success or failure. yeah, and we need three successes in order to succeed on either one of these things. Nailed it. So, um, we've got three for this one. Uh, you don't notice anything to the south of you. However, the hex to the west seems to have some interesting, um, uh, sort of pits. It's got sort of like a weird kind of like undulating hill kind of a, a formation. It seems like very undulating hills. Though. Yeah, yeah. Like it's not like undul not actively. Excuse me. Undulating is completely yeah. the wrong word. Okay. <laughs> so it's what I mean is that there is a, um, a cluster of geography that is like very rocky, as opposed to like the sand that surrounds where you guys are at. And it's very, very drastic. It's like a sine wave. And the architecture that you're able to spot, not architecture, god damn, Brendan. Uh, <laughs> Get it together! There's, there's some spires sticking out, and it looks like there are like some equivalent like pits sort of in that area. Oh, snap, let's go there. Yeah, can we, can we make small marks on the map? Yes, you oh. can. Uh, the map is deliberately there for yeah. you to draw on. Okay. Well, so, was nothing mark it up. Nothing south. Not that. Boring. Yeah. So Kate will Interesting. go to, will go to... Um, oh, I was going to draw, like, much bigger, like, X. Well, you can, yeah, you know, I left plenty of room. Damn. Draw an X for the interesting That's places. That's a very light X. Oh, I was drawing an X for the non-interesting yeah. ones. Like, you, we don't care about those. Well, you, uh, maybe uh, alternate it. Just draw the hill. But yeah. check mark. That's Every other X is, is, a, is a key point. Yeah, exactly. Check mark. But the odd-numbered X is. So yeah. he'll, he'll go to... A red uh, X has treasure. We, finish it, we should, we should really, like, color code these, too. So do we have... There's a box of markers out there. Let's take like Jesus an Christ hour for hex. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, we're, we're gonna go to really Tiberius low. with this information while Tiberius. He's is drunk. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, away from that city. It's like right. I, sure, <laughs> Cassie, Cassie's Same. actually very upset that she didn't research like cure drunkenness as a spell she could have learned. Wouldn't that be, be cure poison, right? Because it's alcohol poisoning. Uh, so first of all, most people can only get access to alcohol in the absence of fresh water. So. Really, you're preventing him from sustaining himself. I mean, he could still. He just could no, he would be drinking. We just wouldn't be drunk, and so that way the alcohol is the best. Like he would be able. To Not from his know. perspective. Yeah. Yeah. I know. He'd be so upset with I you. Know. Yeah, he'd sort of. He'd just try to get a sense if if Tiberius knew anything about this sort of formation <clears> in, the, in, in the sill. There's all manner of. Uh... Yes, well, Tom I Foolery out here. I want to here. know if you know this specific Tom Foolery. This specific Tom Foolery, no. I know that there's some sort of a gorge out here in the, uh, the midst of this place, but... Uh, well, let's that's... sail directly off of that. I <laughs> don't plan on doing that anytime soon. I've survived uh, my city burning to the ground. I managed to uh, wander up here and... Came back from the yeah, dead. Yeah, come yeah, back from the dead. I'm... I'm I'm gonna yeah. see if I'm we were three. present. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was us. We did that. That was pretty um, cool. Anyway, I'm gonna see if I can keep the streak alive. Oh, good. Alive, yeah. All right. Well, I guess you head to the odd formation. Let's check it out. Sure. Boop. All right, we move there. <laughs> so now we're there. Now we do a search in the odd formation. Yes, that is correct. Okay. Uh, what's the difficulty on these? These are ten. Oh, oh sweet. Oh, well, I got two. Also oh, pff. unbelievable. Did everyone succeed? Eleven and eighteen. Yeah. I succeeded twice awesome. as well. You find a purple worm nest. We oh. turn tail as fast as possible. Bangly fish. <laughs> <laughs> these, these, should, uh, these, closer. these should move each time we move. They will. <laughs> like they will. Uh, so this is a so, purple worm nest. Yes. 
Like, Tiberius, can you turn leaving. us around? Can you turn us around? Like, so on a, Why? What is it? I can't see. On approach, as soon as we the realize that's what we're doing, up. we just like turn and go any other direction. <clears> Alright, you're back in the previous tile. Okay. Let's go around the Three room. days have passed. We're back in tier. Yes. We go back to tier, we're like, no. Any other direction maybe was a little reckless. Like, Tier's like. Uh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So let's go to the not. Let's go instead of. Or, let's go to the one that wasn't interesting. Yeah. Okay. Boringville so seems fun. Yeah. We go to Boringville, <laughs> and then we. What? You scare me when you roll dice. Just because I roll a die doesn't mean something's gonna happen. It means there's a chance for something to happen, which is literally what the die roll was for. <laughs> anyway, That's why I get nervous. Anyway, well, we should we should move out further to open ground, like in, indicating westward. Like we'll get a better sense for the. Surroundings. Move there. There's nothing ourselves. close to. Oh, oh, so without exploring, yeah. just go. Yeah, here. just go. Yeah, because yeah. we'll because we'll we'll, we'll, we'll look more here now there. But then we can okay. we'll see more hexes. Basically. Okay. Well, what Cade says is no. We'll see more hexes if we go. There. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So just to be clear, you spent one day traveling to the purple. One day surveying. Yeah. Uh -huh. a, a second day traveling to where the hill formation was. Yeah. Yep. And the third day exploring. Yeah. So now we're on day four. Which was moved to this. Which was place. moving yeah. to this hex. Yes. Which we've not yet surveyed, so we're about to survey. Okay. Yeah. Success. Wait, no, 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 I've got a. No, are we surveying yeah, here? My perception or around us? Because we don't know. Yeah, we're, we're scanning we're the area, so we're going to see all. Oh, we're not going to explore well, where we're at? Yeah, because we oh, don't know if there's anything one? here. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. Um, we can do both. We can do one survey. day for one, one day for the other. I did a survey. It's, it's, it's the same. It's the same check. It's harder to see what's around you. But if we see what's around us, can we see what's where we are too? No, okay. you have to search your tile. Okay. Well, we should explore where we're at. I would say. Okay. Looking okay. inward and looking outward mm -hmm. are different things. We'll more tiles if we scan here, but that's what we'll yeah. we have to search this one eventually. No, we don't. Well, we don't. Because if we move off and then scan the uh, scan the surroundings, okay, that's, that's a good argument. Oh, oh, oh Min Max and Kane. Yeah, we'll, we'll yep. Did you just hear hear Herbie say that I did a game thing? <laughs> yeah. Oh snap! Get a point of inspiration. Achievement unlocked. <laughs> But I'm gonna erase it and put this one down. Yeah, yeah. I want this <laughs> one more. Outgamed Herbie. That's something. I mean, okay. you, so just a reminder: you could like take that and give it to someone else's inspiration. Oh yeah. Oh, if we get duplicates, we can just give one away immediately. Yeah. I keep oh. getting fake oh. ones. I'll, I'll, give I'll give it. Mine. I'll give it to Herbie yeah. because. Uh, his pride is already wounded. I take it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I don't. I don't. That's totally fair. Keep your mind yeah. Well, you're a cleric. I, <laughs> I, I give it away. Are lot. you guys surveying or what? Yeah. Yeah. We're surveying the surrounding squares. Success. Okay. Success. 27 uh, success. So, success. so success. there are a couple of interesting <laughs> things <laughs> nearby. Mm -hmm. The space directly to the south of you appears to have a dried up lake of some kind. Uh, it's teeming with purple worms. It's not. <laughs> like, it's every attack. <laughs> Look, I bought a bunch this of is purple worms. Purple worms are actually really friendly tribe in Athos. Yeah, it's uh, the name of the best elves. <laughs> they just call themselves the purple worms. <laughs> <laughs> they would have gave us all kinds of magical artifacts. Uh, so the northwest tile from there uh, seems to have a. Yeah. This no, one. not from you, from where oh. you, you guys. Yes, yes, the one you're pointing at. Okay. <clears throat> that one appears to have some sort of a statue, a massive statue, um, standing still. Nice. Okay. Oh, it's upside Good. Two it's more top. left. Are they both what? boring? Are the other two boring? That's it, yeah. Okay. The rest is simply, uh, Dune, oh, you know what? I've got Dune exploring music. Nice. So long, Kern music. We appreciated you while you lasted. It was okay, I guess. It was pretty good. Um, <clears throat> the two the statues seem the most likely to maybe have a clue about our destination. Agreed. Yeah. A dust lake. Or something relating to civilization out here with possible lead to a forge or something. Indeed. Can we head over? Yeah. The statue just like... <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I'm not doing very good movement if we're trying to avoid these fangs. <laughs> you guys set off to the southwest, and uh, after, so this, so most of these places you have to go and then explore. This particular thing is big enough that you're like, it's right there, so we're gonna drive up to it. Yeah. Um, so as you approach, uh, about a half mile away, you can tell uh, that this is a enormous granite statue of a dwarf. 
It's not Marvin, um, thank God. It yeah. is, however. Oh, oh God. God. It's not. <laughs> Marvin got burned to the ground. Hey, this is God. the second one. There's like six of them. Yeah. You guys have found lots of Marvin. Found yeah. too many Marvins. No one, no one wanted to pick up on that oh little God. subplot. This could be a stone Marvin. It's uh, not. It's a dwarf. Okay. It's a dwarf. It's a different kind of dwarf than you're used to seeing, though. This one is peculiar. It's very hairy. It has a tremendous beard hanging off the front of it, and it's wearing a stone crown and heavy plate armor, all made of stone. <clears throat> Can I like history check to see if we know what this stuff does? I'm sorry? Can we do like a history check and see if we know You can absolutely do a history check. However, uh, the the statue is looking out at this enormous chasm. There is a gigantic, yes, that tr that formation there is a monumental hole in the ground. Seven. I'm sorry? Uh, 17 on... I'm sorry, 18. 18 on history. You don't know a thing about... Uh, this this, this dwarf or his strange beard. Can Antoria give it a shot with the Book of Legends? You can, absolutely. I don't know what bonus that may or may not give. I'll <clears throat> give that to you. Cade, give me a wisdom check. 21 on the other check. Natural one. Natural one? <laughs> <laughs> Fall into the gorge. <laughs> Sorry. No, Not it's right. fine. It's no, plans. it's absolutely fine. Uh, the Book of Legend does have reference to uh, hairy dwarves, hairy, <laughs> hairy boys. Actually, would, would the yes. so in in our memories? Yes. Uh, our memories. Yes. We waged a campaign against the dwarves. Yes. Were those hairy yes. dwarves? They were hairy dwarves. Yeah. Yes, they looked more like t uh, typical fantasy dwarves. Well, Can't just be like sitting back, like he's playing with the stone and you gave him, not really paying much mind all this history lesson stuff. Like, wait a minute, <clears throat> I killed those guys. Like uh, Hamanu and Bori fought those dwarves. So, as a matter of fact, reminiscing about this, you're thinking back to the terrain that you saw, and the enormous pit where you were at was once a mountain range. Until, whoops, the Lion of Uruk set off a neutron bomb underneath it. <laughs> what you gonna do? And the mountains literally fell into the ground, creating this massive crater, like, burying awesome. what remained of the troll race. <laughs> also, they get up and kind of peek over the cliff and be like, uh, well, I mean, <laughs> now that I think about it, you're gonna love this. <laughs> Does this place seem familiar to you? The, well... Is this a lol my bad you're about to give us? No, when... There's Hamanu, certainly no bad. When Hamanu... <laughs> he, did, he did his job! When the Ham Hamanu finally extinguished the trolls, I believe it was here. And, well, you can see what happened. It's quite the... I mean, oh. It's overkill a little bit, it seems. If you're going to do something, do it right. <laughs> well. I wonder what's down there. Trolls. Well, not anymore. Troll <laughs> ghosts? <laughs> Hopefully I don't want to see the ghosts. I do. Why? Casimir jumps into the pit. <laughs> does he have the broom? Absolutely he does. No! My broom! Casimir, bring me back my broom! That's mine! It's, it's... With any luck. Looking for a fiery forge. Well, perhaps we should have a closer look at this statue first. Yeah. Is there any Is there like room writing? Yeah. It's definitely of an old room. Give me an investigation check. Cut! Natural one. 16. Fourteen. Uh, investigation nineteen. Uh, Cade and Cassia, you guys find a strange panel on the back of the thing that seems to be cut away from the rest of uh, the rear torso armor. Like they could open it up? Maybe. There's not like a latch or anything like that. It looks like maybe it like pushes out from the inside. Can you don't put a look at it, look at Cassia. Like, can you make sure that's safe? No, like old witchcraft on it or anything. Uh, yeah, I'll detect magic. Uh, you detect magic from the entirety of the thing. It seems to have, uh, evocation and transmutation coming off of the thing. Like, uh, it was transmuted, or it will actively transmute things to touch it? It... Is it no, either, turn it's, us into dwarves? It's not! Oh, yes! I think it just tells you the schools. Everyone yeah. can be... Well, if I... Okay, yeah. 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 It doesn't appear trapped, however. Like, I think I do it work. You can do an arcana check. You do it. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and throw an Arcana check at it as well. Are there any uh, Chevron size uh, slots? 20? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's a seam. You can oh. reasonably, like, wedge them in there. What uh, are you doing? 17 Sorry? Arcana check. Uh, 17. Okay. Uh, I think you, you're sort of, like, scoping the perimeter of this thing, you know, trying to, trying to see if there's some sort of a, uh, uh, a latch or a secret opening thing or like one of those like number pads on the outside of car doors. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, she and... actually just pokes the side of him and goes boop 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 as well and hopes that... <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love that that worked. It suddenly launches into space like a giant rock. And it reveals an inner compartment. Oh my god, can I like drive this? Is this a mess? It's oh dark. And, it's I dark stuff outside. Stuff Cassian. Drive it. It's drive it. <laughs> for the love of God. It's dark, it's dark inside. I can't Cassie wait for the light. Uh, and then sort of looks around inside. So inside, you see um, uh, a dwarf-sized chair and a series of stone levers. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, so I'm dwarf-sized. Yes. Uh, you're a little littler. I'm a little littler, so yeah. perfect. I'll, I'll fit easily. Yeah. You guys just sit on a boat. Okay, so, so Kate. <laughs> little buddy could work the pedals. <gasps> oh! <laughs> yes. Okay, little buddy hops in uh, oh. with me, and we're gonna. Okay, so Kate, really you're okay with me this? with me hitting buttons on this, right? Because I'm all about There's this. no buttons. I don't we'll pull in levers. So yeah. this five did, you say, did you say evocation was one of the schools? Yeah, you I'm gonna point it away from the ship. I don't know what. You Wait, mean. you're inside this thing, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm crawling in. Okay. I assume we're shouting about this. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so Kate was, yeah. Kate was at the back of the yeah, room. Right, I mean, yeah, I'm right behind Kate and I both found this I thing. I don't know if I'm okay So it belongs to you legally. I yes. I don't know anything about... Find us V keepers. What sort of thing? What are we hoping to gain by messing with this thing? There's... What do you believe Cassie in? Cassia pulls the leftmost lever. Ti- Tiberius sort of side-eyes you. You're not a lot of fun, are you? <laughs> We yeah. do have something. We don't have time for fun. Cassia ambition. goes to the sits down, goes to the leftmost lever, and sort of like pushes it forward a little bit gently. <clears throat> it doesn't budge. Uh, oh, it doesn't move at all. She tries pulling it back. It doesn't budge. She goes to the next one and tries. What do you budge. think the chances goes are down that the there's line. a pyrene steel Give me inside this turn. statue? Because that's what we're after. Or a city. I would settle for a city. Uh, investigation is 20. I was thinking <clears throat> we may want to double back to that dried up lake when we have a chance. So under the uh, console in front of you, you see some like um, cords and stuff like that, sort of hanging down. Oh, somebody tried to hotwire this and screwed up the panel, didn't they? Can can I figure out what's going on with that? Beast. You you're not sure exactly what's going on here. This is like like this is ancient. This is a world that doesn't have spy glasses. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows what this is? Okay. But you can tell that there's probably something that was supposed to be there and isn't there anymore, <sighs> and that isn't on the floor. A oh, little buddy is on the floor. Can I shut this plug Don't sh- no. <laughs> <laughs> Cassie would never. No, whatever, never. whatever is that you're looking for is probably more like silver dollar sized. Cassie pulls out silver. more like a beach ball. Oh, uh, like yeah. your big, yeah. your big friendly metal beach ball. I love him so much. Oh, awesome. oh, Cassie hugs a little buddy. Did you ever play uh, Live? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Any of you? No. Okay. Live Alive. I'm familiar I've heard with it, but I never played it. Hey, one, of the, one of the characters is a little circular robot. Aww. Aww. Um, well, can I figure anything else out about this thing? I don't know, can you? <laughs> well, what roles would I do? You've, like, you've, I'm, I'm poking it, buttons, I, I roll them So if this was a point and click adventure, you've surveyed the whole of the screen. There's nothing else new clickable. Okay. You've checked every pixel. Yeah, Casimir yeah. flies back up from the chasm. Oh, thank God. No thank ghosts! God. Thank God. Good. Is there anything else? I don't know. I was only looking for ghosts. <laughs> it's quite deep. Let's get back to looking around, maybe. Um. So there are two squares we would, uh, hexes we would pick up if we did a survey here. We probably should do that before we do anything else. Yeah, I have one more question before we move on. Do I still have my orb of spellbind? <laughs> <laughs> yes! I always gotta check it now. Okay. Make another mark in my chitin. When we get a, when we get a chance, we should... Maybe sail out to that lake, and there's probably not much there. But if there used to be a lake, there probably used to be a city. Fair point. Let's do our surveying, and then we'll move on. Success. Uh, double success. Fail. Okay. 
We're doing surveying. Not local search. Uh, one success. I got a 20. Oh, okay. Got plenty. Uh, to the west uh, along the chasm is a um, enormous spire. Spider. <laughs> Not a spider, no. Oh, just we're leaving. Just a yeah. world-sized spider just sitting there waiting for someone to come into its aggro range. <laughs> No, nothing there. Okay, boring to come. Aren't you glad we didn't waste our time on that square? I give myself another point of interest. <laughs> <laughs> the purple worm is in that square now. It's <laughs> following us. We don't survey the gorge squares at all? Uh, no, you do, but you didn't spot anything new in that space. Okay. So then both of these we can X. Yeah. Well, well, we, we also can't go in them. We may need to be deeper to find That's them. what she said. Well, it's... And exactly that tone of voice. Yeah, well, looks like we're gonna have to go deeper. This <laughs> fire is interesting, but so is your theory about the lake. I'd be open to either. Mm. Although I do feel like our dust, our ultimate goal is probably further away from Kern rather than closer. I'm in probably right. The lake. I'd vote for that. Spire. Spire. I'm like spire. Water. It's fine with me. Well, it's, well, this is the opposite of water. So try it. It is literally water. the opposite of water. Yeah. All right, we are moving to the spire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, everyone give me a perception check. Okay. <coughs> uh, well, so our, our local Nine. search or is this individual? Uh, this is an individual thing. 18. 16 and 16. 17. Four, uh, 12. <coughs> I got 13. Oh, I got a 9, sorry. Everyone except for Marcus <laughs> notes an enormous shadow pass over the ship. <clears throat> nope, not you, Marcus. <laughs> yeah. You were busy. The one who's ignore, most fearful of rocks. Ignore birds. birds. Well, there is a tremendous bird uh, <laughs> soaring overhead. And, does it uh, appear hostile? Or... It doesn't seem to take much notice of you guys, but uh, as you watch, it flaps its way back over to the spire where it uh, uh, okay. hunkers down. Yeah. Yeah. Cable like distract Marcus with something like, <laughs> Look out on the chasm! It's a ghost! What? Oh, where? wait, no. Where? What? <laughs> what? What? what a mistake. It's not a ghost. Oh. Oh, that's a big bird. <laughs> <laughs> I throw Casimir into the chasm. <laughs> Good thing I still have the bird. Yeah. No! I want that back. Oh, he'll be back. There's no getting rid of him. Uh, He's like a bird. Leave us, we've tried. Yeah. We even let him have a magic yeah. broom. Casimir, yeah. of course, begins flying up towards the rock. No! Casimir oh really points him up don't towards the rock. Don't even worry. Just don't even do we want to investigate yeah, you should this? take it away from him. Do we want to investigate this spire? It does seem to be... I like I like well, investigating things. It's, it's, it's does investigate. the spire look like natural or man-made? No, it's it's a mountain. It's yeah. not... Okay. Uh, okay. Oops. Yeah. 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 I mean, so it's... It's not a building. It's not, it's not a government state. Oh. Here, I actually have... Um, a mountain? Uh, Yes. Yeah. Yeah. A high finger of rock thrusts out of the desert. Ooh. Its sides scoured smooth from wind and sand. <laughs> At the top of the spiraling vein sits a no! No! perches a vast <laughs> nest. An incongruous eyrie constructed around what appears to be a mighty galley. A mighty what? Gallery, like oh, oh. surveying, like the. I think I said galley at first. Yeah. yeah. No, gallery, like. I want, oh. I want to go up there and look around. Okay. The, the, yeah, we probably won't appreciate that. We may actually get a good look. Casimir flies back. I'm sorry, this is your broom, and I keep taking it without permit. Oh. Mm -hmm. anyway. yeah, I'm throwing the oh. <laughs> no. Oh, <God>. Finally. Finally. <laughs> Save well, we That's may actually a, be able to get a Oh, right. We, we moved over here. Yeah. We may yeah. actually be able to get a better look from up there. But That's the thing. Is it really worth we, fighting with that? Yeah, yeah. we're going to have a fight. It could be on front. I mean, you're not wrong. Like, I literally dominate beasts I, for I, fun. I'm aware of your job. <laughs> I'm spells. aware of your job. And, and your kinks. <laughs> What's your limit? Uh, what, what, dominate 
chaotic pink. Like, yeah. It's yeah. not alignment, yeah. Ed. It's not bad. Just for fun, just, hi, I control you. You do whatever I want now. I mean, some people What's well, having a bad. horse like? You, it's... Gorse. Yeah, yeah the you, gorse. You form right. a relationship, a bond with the horse. I literally summon a spiritual horse that is bound to me. That's not it true. Has to do what it says. Well, it's a. It's an enix. It's a gorse. That yeah. sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, oh, it never it has because you've never done it. I had no call to. I've always just like, figured that no. Nope, one right? day he's once. gonna summon that enix, and I'm gonna be able to make a winnie. I did once <laughs> extremely early so that I could feel superior to everyone else. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, 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 that's walked right. somewhere and I rode my gorse beside them. So <laughs> you can summon this horse. If it dies, does it matter? Like, why do you not just every day summon your Cause it, horse? Because it costs a level two slot and oh. takes ten fucking minutes. Yeah, screw that. <laughs> I, I could do Just three playing days. that channeling animation yeah, exactly. the whole time. Yeah, I could do 3d8 oh, damage that's instead. Yeah. Like, Are you lagging? Somebody pushes you. Mm -hmm. Damn it! <laughs> yeah, just turn it over. Well. I mean, I've got tons of spell slots to burn, so I should go up there. Keep in mind, we're spending a day each time we do an action, our spell yeah. slots would come back. Yeah. No, that's what I mean. Yeah. I've got tons of spell slots. Like, so, I, I was in Kern, and I was able to just sort of, like, blast off shit, and I'm still riding that high. She dominated every animal in <laughs> yeah. Kern. It was amazing. Nice. So, I actually put well, on no a play so with several different animals performing the roles. So, I'll, I'll uh, say this, just in terms of accomplishing... In terms no, of accomplishing our mission... Yeah, they them slave labor. <laughs> in terms of accomplishing our mission, rather than just dallying about the wastes, we should be looking for indications of Pyrene or halfling architecture. Anything that was lived in by human beings. Now this is not that, but it may give us a better look around. There was a, it's constructed up there, right? Well, how are we going to see this? It, it's, <laughs> I thought you said the word constructed. It's constructed, but by the rock. It's like, oh, okay, okay. It's an enormous nest that it built up there. Like William Johnson himself. Yeah. So I'm not certain that this will uh, is actually further our cause, as I much mean, as I know you're eager to dominate something. Well, I also want to take a look around, and I think this will give us the advantage point. There's that, but I mean, also, I mean, we have a flying creature that can see for us from miles up. I think the issue we're more going to run into is how much you can actually be seen in the silt and wind from up there. But, I mean, I'm, I'm, no, I'm no expert at wilderness exploration, so you all are free to, to speak on this. I just don't want us to get distracted by every little thing we come across when we on a mission. I agree with Kane. I also agree with Kane. <laughs> <laughs> and rather... don't want to be thrown off the boat. <laughs> I, would, oh boy. I would rather sit in Tanger up in a different location than fight this bird and then have to climb up this damn thing. And... And then, He's yeah, like, there's was... athletic checks involved in this. <laughs> <laughs> I can smell it. Aww, has someone have to turn into a gorilla to climb the mountain? <laughs> or someone just has to twist his little ring and climb like a spider. Yeah, that's so, <laughs> it's a lot so. easier. That's, that's too, too much effort. Wow. Wow. I, no, see, I was more making fun of you for the fact that turning into a formed gorilla is like the coolest it's thing ever. Yeah. <laughs> oh look, it's Goro, Goro's <laughs> older brother. <laughs> what's, what's the range on Dominic? I mean, it's like. Do it now, and then it's fly the thing good. to the top of... And I want to ride that thing like Valcor, and go, yeah. I'll be honest with the group. Uh, the group actually met a dog dragon before you met up with them. What? Yeah. Oh. Hello. Would that, count, would that be a monster, or beast? I'm sorry? Would that be a monster, or beast? Probably a monster. I wouldn't have I don't have a spell. Well then, okay. unless there's any counter argument, let's start with uh, well, we probably here. shouldn't stay here and survey. It's no. not going to make me here. Well, perhaps we should survey. Well, look around us first. Not. It might get nervous about our presence this We're, close to its nest to be hanging out. We stumbled into a purple here. worm nest. Yeah, I honestly right. like our chances with a bird better. I would like to know where we're going before we start looking around places. Can, can I do like a, I don't know, survival or nature or something? Well, again, what, what do I think we can see if we're out there? Yeah, like, absolutely. Would it be like so, so clouds everywhere and we don't see anything? I mean, I, again, I would okay. recommend we well, get further from the places we know. Only a nine. Uh, you're not too sure about like... Yeah, so... Well, I, I can say that the the weather here has been very, very clear. There's not been much in the way of... Um, so, you guys have been traveling across what is probably the most, like, pure just desert that you guys have seen in all of your time in Athos. 
more than any space in the Tablelands. This is just literally miles and miles and miles of dunes. Now it looks like the train may change further out west, and certainly um, from what you saw when you were first heading north to the Lost City States in the first place, there's some more rugged terrain, more uh, foothill kind of stuff, probably south of the gorge. But up here it is literally just like Sahara dunes. Um, but there's not a whole lot of cloud cover, nor is there much else aside from like pretty constant wind. Um, the, it, without the magical sails that the Ram 4 uh, has, you probably wouldn't be able to cruise around the way that you guys have been. You would have just fallen into the gorge yeah. over and over and over again. All the wind just goes right to the center. Yeah. <laughs> again, I'm, I'm, I'm not a wilderness expert nor am I a guide, but I would recommend we get further into the unknown before we start wasting our time skimming the sands to look around. We're just most of what's surrounding us we already know. I worry we also about, may not be able to see much past the gorge anyway. I worry about driving into something and not knowing what's there before we get there. I mean, like stumbling in a purple worm nest is not. Well, we did that knowing what was ahead. <laughs> Well, I think we should move on. Agreed. I don't want to stay here with this I, thing, for, especially for not even... I think it'll here. actually be rather difficult to scale Can we, like, fire. con this thing, figure out how difficult it'll be? We've actually like, fought one before. Oh, yeah. what is this? You can give me a nature check. Follow me. Well... Uh, nature? Uh, 18. Uh, it's not a uh, opponent to be taken lightly, but you guys have certainly faced more difficult. Advanced about it, Antoria will mention that it was dangerous, and as a journeyman, he had trouble affecting it with spells. Plus, it had gravity on its side. It did gravity was of attempting to Gravity it. is, in all worlds, OP. <laughs> true. Except the moon. I should but, think about it. But more than its, more than its capacity in battle, it, I mean, we only have so much time to spend out here. We've already burned a lot of time. We should get a move on. If we were out here to hunt beasts, that would be one thing. I mean, just need another day or two to scale the fire. Well, let's move on. We seem to have come to the conclusion we shouldn't be here. I agree with Cade. So I guess we're moving here by the sound of it, everyone? That works for me. Yes. Alright. You continue on. And then we will, I guess, survey when we're there. Sure. Success. Fail. Uh, nat 20. Success. Uh, good. Two successes. DC 15, right? Yeah. Mm. yeah. So, uh, to the north, uh, it looks like there may be some sort of a uh, old ruin of some kind. Ooh. That's, that's definitely interesting. Okay. I already found the city we were looking at. Anything else in adjacent squares? Nope. Okay, give me a uh, exploration check once you've traveled this far. Two successes. Success. Okay. We all got it. Two successes. Everyone. Well, well done. Even the familiars. Yep. Wow. What a bunch of tryhards. <laughs> we see this thing so good. The facade of a once grand temple extends from a rocky slope among the dunes. The slender gold uh, painted columns and cupola of the temple suggests the image of an elegant gilded cage. Patches of bare rock show where the gold leaf has flaked away, however, and cracked steps worn from the passage of countless feet show the temple's age. Desert sand lies thickly on the temple's balustrades, not a word I've used outside of classical architecture class. <laughs> Thank you, undergrad. <laughs> but, but, the steps leading in seem freshly swept. Uh, knowledge, uh, religion? Sure. To recognize, I guess, the symbology. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, I'll see no lions. <laughs> yeah. Burn it to the ground. Uh, so this appears to be, um, you've seen a temple kind of like this before, back when you guys explored the Undertire? No, that wasn't you, yes. that was Barrett. In a past life. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Marcus or Antoria would qualify for that. Yes, absolutely. So you, Bill, have seen this kind of stuff before. Uh, this appears to be a Green Age uh, uh, temple, probably um, some sort of an elemental cult. Um, 
uh, this one is most likely an earth temple, just based on the symbology that you've seen. Zoro will be like, seems like some kind of earth temple, perhaps, like, seeing stuff like this described before in other religious texts. Well, I'm not going to be seeing it. Yeah, the fact that it seems to still be possibly kept up to some degree. It's unusual, but there's no reason for us not to check it out. For example, they have relations to finding it or they find something about the inhabitants are the inhabitants are friendly, they may know something about the area. Exactly. They live here. Kate draws is worth it. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> A barrage of snowboats just come from inside and just pelts us. No way. Okay, what are you guys doing? Let's hop on down and, yeah, and okay. investigate. Let me go to the bathroom. Oh, no. Goodbye. I think the party's around. <laughs> Itoria like... just pees on it immediately. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Well, Sorry. He writes a book about it. Yeah. The party is approaching friendly and Cade is kind of like a forehead. I mean, Cade will, will, will never approach the situation without his weapon and shit. I certainly right? wouldn't. If I had a weapon. That, that Hamani is down. Like, like it's down. Yeah. He's not like this. Yeah. He's yeah. like this. <laughs> You know, passively approaching the rest Everyone of the that's not peeing, give me a perception check. Well, about that. Ten. <laughs> Nineteen. <laughs> that was very funny. That's <laughs> pretty good. Perception, right? Yeah. Twenty-six. Seventeen. Okay. Sweet. Yeah, <laughs> everything's fine. Everything's just fine. <laughs> Even with 17, everything's yeah. fine. So yeah, everything's fine. You get a 26. Fine. Yeah, 26 yeah, oh, so. yeah, no, everything's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I assume we're going to take standard art marching order, which means the urinator's in the front. <laughs> Kate will flank him. <clears throat> Absolutely. We'll all attack him at once. Yeah. 100%. Even, even, even then, you just wall the force. We still, yeah, we still could beat him. It's true. <laughs> so, uh, as you guys approach uh, part of the, um, oh, one of the two stone double doors creaks open and an old man sticks his head out. He's wearing. He that's fine. That's fine. Uh, he's got dark skin and a white beard. He's wearing a white turban and uh, some explorers uh, here. He says, "Oh, you there? Hail and well met. Are you a resident or a treasure hunter? Oh, I'm, I'm the the second thing. I'm I'm. I'm who, who are you? What what are you doing here? Is that your ship? It is. Oh, my my name is Zaid. I, I'm here looking for ancient relics. What have you found? Oh, not much. It's, I, I'm, I'm a, st a student of the history of our world. There's a great deal to be found here, but I've only just gotten here. There's, there's a great deal of archaeology to be had. Really? Okay, yes, friend. it's a field that I've invented about studying things that are old. Ah, well. I've named it after my father, Arceus. He was old. Then. He was pretty old. As that I makes sense. Now. That well, how did you get here? Oh, I had a crodlu, but I had to eat it. So it goes. Yes. Where did you come from? Oh, far south. A small town outside of Tyr. Well, where did you come from? The boat. <laughs> we're explorers from the mm. tablelands, but we're we're actually looking for particular remnants of an old society. You may be able to help us identify whether. Or not. Are you familiar with the pirate? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. Any yeah. evidence of their kind? Oh, oh no, 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 no. That's uh, the. <laughs> <No. laughs> like, what's this place? This this place is to, sacred to an, uh, an earthen cult. Yeah, yes, as well as you know, is the, the, all the sorts of very popular back then, but it's. It's very, very... I've only just gotten here, and I've got a great deal of work to do, so I can't really tell you much more beyond that, but I can tell you that there's none of... Uh, pi... 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 Pyrene. Pyrene, yes. There's none of those here. I'm sorry. 13 on the inside check. I was literally... Okay, uh... And I'm actually gonna throw another bardic at it, too. Uh... That's gonna be... 26 plus... 5... 31 insight. He seems confused. He seems confused and lying. <laughs> He's confused. Yeah. This guy's not lying. Kate will step up and grab him. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I'm... You're lying. I'm not. I'm very old. You seem to have upset my friend, looking Cassia. I don't see how. Well, he seems 
seems to think you lied to him. Look, this is a very old place. Any degree of violence is going to upset the, the relics and the, the statue. artifacts. Oh, uh, uh, if there's I any don't... violence, it's going to upset you. <laughs> I would suggest that you get on level with you me right you now. You just got here, and then you walk out as soon as we arrive? That's rather really convenient. Okay, I'm just. Do you guys want to just like go inside? And well, could, I could just kill him so we don't have somebody behind. Uh, him. Give, all right. I don't think he's putting. Give me a. Give me a wisdom save. <laughs> Anti kill check. Give me. A, there's no such thing as those. Yeah, Kate flops. <laughs> but you, you can give me a w wisdom save, I guess. Okay. Uh, is, is this a spell? No, okay. no. Everyone or just no, just Kate. Fourteen. Fourteen. Um, okay. You manage to keep it together as the old man, um, in your hands turns into a massive snake. <laughs> so, you're still, like, grabbing a hold of him, but you lift up into the air <laughs> as his old, old face turns into a young, toothier looking, not a snake face, but still like a man face. It's toothier. <clears throat> with lots of teeth <clears throat> and a snake bod. None of us see this. No, everyone does. Oh. Cade just had to, like... But Cade keeps it together. Okay. To his credit. Um, so this this really this happened. That's unpleasant. I'm not going to attack it. No, 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 no. We should... I mean, uh, Kate is gonna, I mean, he's gonna reach for his war pick, because you, you guys are free to... Well, you're, you're hanging out, you're, like, ten feet up off the air, uh, off the ground now. So are you gonna, like, let go with one? I would, I would assume so, yeah. Give me an athletics check. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm down with that. Uh, 14. 14. You, um, you know, you, you're a professional, but... Yeah, this is a new circumstance. Yeah, there's some new circumstances, <laughs> and you just sort of, like, tumble no back. No good handholds on this snake! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's so slippery! Yeah, cable drops to the ground and draws for a big. Can you acknowledge me, Oh. Better, better be in a rush as the war picks coming. Uh, 23 on nature? I'm sorry, not, uh, 33 on nature. 18. Zor? 18 on nature. Oh, Zor. No, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, 23 for, for nature. I was looking at. Oh my god. Zor, this is uh, beyond the ken of your experiences. Cassia, this is a legendary creature called a Naga. Oh, Nagas. I know those. Uh, I meant I what I said. Dead. What do I know about how they, how scary and dangerous and deadly they are? They, yes, <laughs> those things. They combine all of the best parts of poisonous snakes and assholes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all the strengths of a snake, none of its weaknesses. <laughs> uh, I'm. Drexia, very fragile. You don't look so sturdy yourself. Kate says, oh, snake okay. his massive, massive snake body. Yes. If it comes to violence, it will not be my blood that stains the sand. Yes, we've surprised a lot of legendary creatures in the past, so I would suggest you not count yourself among them. Mm. Perhaps we are at an impasse. If you would like to survive them, yes, that's the route for you. What to do you so want? Taking a different approach. We're <laughs> looking. We just happen we're, to find this place. We're. I'm a seeker of knowledge, truthfully, like uh, out of care. You're truthfully. very small. But big that's, ideas. That's why she's not a warrior. Uh, I'm I'm a seeker of knowledge, and this area provides history that hasn't been seen in a very long time. It provides knowledge into the past and what's been going on in this world and I'm seeking to find out as much as I can about that. Are you giving me a check of some kind? Yeah, uh, persuasion? Sure. Because this is sincere. And I'm gonna throw a bardic at it. Uh, that's 10. So... That's 15 plus... 15. 30. He lowers his hood. Or his head a little bit. He doesn't have a hood. He's not that kind of snake. Okay. Snake in a hood. He's a different. Yeah, he's wearing a hoodie. No, he's wearing a turban. Um, uh, the hoodie of Athos. <laughs> God, what's wrong with me? <clears throat> so he actually seems to like relax a little bit, even in the face of this very dangerous hammer wielding man in front of him. 
and uh, continuing to address you, Cassia, he's like, S -s -s so rare to discover someone who truly respects the knowledge of the ancients. You are looking for the Pyrene? Yes. I spoke truthfully. There is none to be found here, but perhaps we can come to an arrangement if you agree to do a small task for me, I can direct you across the shifting sands. What's the task? I was taking a bath and I dropped a trinket of some worth to me. But the lake is protected by a Birds of considerable danger. Insight. This is cat lying to us for the snake. 18? No, he seems totally on the level. It's like those okay. birds will fuck, fuck you up. No, he's, I, yeah. he, he's actually like just sort of like remembering it. Like there's like a little bit of a shudder even through his spine. He's upset about there's like a little <laughs> snake here in his eyes. What does the trinket look like? It's a circlet sized for a snake head. <laughs> and you dropped it in the lake? Yes. Why'd you go to the lake if you knew it was so dangerous? There's a bath. I'm... <laughs> like, I mean, Water sorry, is I... precious. <clears throat> the stream can be found to the northwest of here. Retrieve my circlet, and I will tell you the Pyrene ruins okay. can be found. But our GM said not to go off the map, so... <laughs> it's not off the map. It's, uh, <laughs> it's actually directly to the... To the west. Practically, how many yeah. hexes away? We're it's two hexes thing. to the west of where you're at right now. Uh, Northwest was... Oh, uh, okay, it says. So, okay. So wait, <laughs> sorry. Wait, wait, so wait. Uh, that okay. was recently okay. patched. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's the in the build notes. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. And then... You require food and water until we return. Snow. Snow? <laughs> if that happens, you don't have that. Don't have that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Uh, I, think I can think of some pigs that had a near snow experience. <laughs> Frankly, I mean, we're wandering randomly anyway. Having, having advice from the locals would be very useful to us. If a lot of you believe that he's on level, then... Yeah, I, I, like, I like this idea. I don't see any reason not to. Yeah. We need to explore out that way anyway, so... Fair enough. I like a, I like that Kate Diagro did incredibly quickly. If you're, <laughs> if you're useful to his mission, Kate is fine. Uh... <laughs> Okay, yeah, uh, I think that's all we're going to get away. The thing is, if you lie to Cade, he's going to kill you. That's if right. you provide useful information to Cade, you're fine. Like, <laughs> it's a binary system. <laughs> Marcus remains quiet, but that's very concerned. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm so often. He slithers back into the, his temple. Alright, Cade will look at Marcus. Are you going to be able to keep it together? Tiberius kind of looks down from the boat. Y'all just, uh... Just talking to a snake. Just, yeah. All right. That's what it looked like. Just, yeah. Just wanted to. The, the boost is fine. It's not getting to you. That's it's okay. No, the boost. He actually like takes his stein and just like upends <laughs> it. Oh, you know what? I I don't think I need this stuff anymore. <laughs> oh yeah, you're you're trying I'm having to enough of a departure from reality as is. <laughs> anyway, can we get underway? Yeah, let's go. Maintain yourself. Helping if I happen to be picked up again. I think I can arrange something. Oh, did Bert do a thing? Give yes. Him, give him the broom. <laughs> I can cast accelerate gravity on you. That was. I, I just love gravity. how immediate that response was to Cassia. It's not big how. Yes. Uh, Are you guys continuing on your way? Picked up by a rock. 
nearly flung to his death. Rocks don't normally... Yeah, rocks don't pick up people. No, it's the name of the bird. Oh, R.O.C. Yes. Cassie was making a Let's get underway. And Cassie's also talking about herself. All right. As supervillains are known to do. I guess assuming no interruption. The party's not supposed to know! They they figured it out a few few sessions ago. I mean, hugging the big bad was probably a tell, but... Yeah. No, Kate's pretty sure everybody's in bed with fucking Keldus. Like, all right, everybody. Getting... How many days have passed? Cassie's muted. This is like 12 days at this point. Okay. Yeah, how convenient. (laughs) (laughs) But he would step up and give us everything we need. Yeah! Yeah. It was was wonderful. Cool. Cool. Alright, what are you guys doing? Yeah, I know, you know that's actually been her first thing. Okay. We're going to spend our time with your gang. Okay, and give me an exploration check in that uh, space. Exploration is the DC 10 one? Yeah. One yeah. success. Let's say you guys got a fail. But that's just, that's just, uh, that's just, uh, that's just advantage, right? Oh, this is me and my opponent. Oh, me. Oh, okay, gotcha. One success. So there are actually two things of note in this hex. First of all, is there is the stream uh, leading to a small lake where there does indeed appear to be a enormous flock of very enormous birds. We'll get to that in a second. But the stream comes out of a very quiet gray forest. Not a um, jungle like a lot of the forests that you've seen before, but this looks a little bit more alpine, I guess. This is more evidence of like... Yeah, they're ever gray trees. That's exactly what they are. No, the the <laughs> trunks of these things are definitely um, uh, sort of desaturated from what you're used to seeing from trees. Um, but they don't appear to be dead or withered or anything like that. They just appear to be gray. How big are they? Are these like sequoias or are they like tiny or redwoods? They're not redwoods, gray woods. but they're gray like woods. they're like thirty or forty feet up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the birds. Uh, appear to be kind of stork-like. Um, they're like wading birds. They have very, very long legs, um, and they have uh, obnoxiously sharp-looking feathers. Each one is maybe like ten feet tall. There's maybe twelve or thirteen of them all together. They would be beasts. Um, yes, these are beasts. How much nature? Sure. Wow. How big are we talking? Like ten feet, ten feet tall. tall. Oh, I missed that. Oh, they, so they'd probably have okay, difficulty so lifting Marcus. I mean, they could work together. Maybe. <laughs> yes, that's true. Uh, they have to have it on the lawn. Yeah. <laughs> How big is the lake? The lake is maybe 40 feet across. It's, about four it's not that across. across. Yeah. Perhaps it's not necessary to fight with these creatures. Yeah, is there, is there one that's off from the others? Not yet. The one that's just not looking yet. for domination. <laughs> so, so, a thought. I could, like, invisible. Go invisible and sneak around and find one that's awful and it's lonesome. I could dominate it, assume direct control, and then <laughs> I could just be a bird wandering around this lake looking for a circlet and then run it back. How long does dominate beast last? Uh, it depends on the spell level I use. If I burn a uh, seventh level, which I can, I can do eight hours. <laughs> I, can, I can do a good search. That's assuming these creatures are intelligent enough to know to find. No, 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 no! Oh, I can assume direct. I can like oh, be the bird. Sure she can take that's that's the trick to dom. Like you gotta, you gotta be the bird. Yeah, you gotta really. Twenty-three to knowledge needs to commit yourself to domination. <laughs> yeah. You're not sure what these things are called, but you've heard of them and know that they're of a nasty temperament. Uh, supposedly, they can actually shoot their feathers from long distance. I've heard. I've not. I don't know exactly what these are, but I've heard stories of birds that can shoot their feathers out and are also extremely territorial. These are clearly called zegrets. <laughs> I just regrets. <laughs> well, same. Mm-hmm. If if you believe that you can get this done from a distance, Cassie, I don't see any reason to risk our physicality. A couple of things. Physicality? Yeah. The alternate. Uh, so I have a DM question. Dominate Beast has a range of 60 feet. Which, <laughs> I'm getting close, but I could I could stealth over there. Sure. Uh, maybe hide behind some sand. Dudes or yeah, something. totally. The question is, I Do I need to remain? Could you may, I think you would really need to like create a costume that looks like one of them to sneak up. <laughs> That's this, my plan, actually. Yeah. It's Cassia. Well, so you can perform. So your question is, do you need to stay that close yeah. in order to continue to bond? Yeah, if I assume direct control. I'm going to say yes. This 
It's like an RC yeah, car. The alternative would drive you too far. I could just go pure invisible and wander around the lake for a while too. But it's, yeah, it's in, probably in the lake. You yeah, can, you can make it doesn't. Invisible. Fifth edition, it doesn't pop invisibility for me to touch water. Right. No, but you have to swim navigating out the way underneath the lake. the lake, which animals can also detect things with other things out. aside from vision. Yeah, but they tend to be dumb, and if they see splash and they can't see anything, sometimes they'll flutter away, right? Like it's yeah. it's spooky and cr it's like a ghost in the water. Just, they're, they're not, like, they're not extremely territorial. territorial. They're territorial. Okay. <laughs> and I just I think that logistically it's going to be a nightmare for you to try to swim about in the bottom of the lake looking for a tiny circle. <sighs> We do have the underwater breathing. Nope, everyone gave the. No, I thought I specifically kept it. Oh, <laughs> if you specifically kept it, then that's fine. Yes. Yeah. Was that an option? Oh, man. Everyone else was so excited to give him back. No. <laughs> I didn't. I don't remember being asked to give it back. I just spiked mine on the ground and broke it. <laughs> Fuck this shit. What I think happened is Cade did it because he was like, well, Keltus made this. I'm not keeping it. Yeah. And Mark then everyone saw Cade doing something and it was like. Fair enough. Oh, right. That's how I remember it. Yeah, that's right. Cade's doing oh, something, I better was... do it. Yeah. Well, I could summon the water elemental and have it fetch the thing for us. That it's going to I cost did. us thousands of gold again. No, no, not that one. No. Was... No. This well, is I'm, the other one I've used before. I'm grateful to that one's service. I just assume well, well, The problem is, I still don't have a very good... I can command it to do something. But I don't speak their language yet. Is it that primordial? sounds like you can't command it to do something. Well, well right. no, 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 it's your language primordial. <laughs> because Let's... I speak primordial, I can like. Translate <laughs> the clubs. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, so here's like, the thing. I can call a water elemental Uber, but I can't yeah. tell it where to go. <laughs> so. so no, I mean it is it is like that. So what I can do is I can summon it and I can give very simple commands like point and say something. Drive forward. <laughs> Like a simple thing, but left. Like, can I like write out Park. phonetically I have an idea what you should say? Might work. It's not. I don't what's think. Your, I'm not sure they speak yeah, primordial. Yeah. To be honest, I'm waiting would, for then. you to tell us how we were going to resolve this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Thank you, Cade. I, I, like, I like Cassie's I idea. Get, I can get a view one. of the bottom of the lake and find out precisely where the object is. That's no problem. If I change Tanger into a much larger bird and send him flying in a different direction, that should certainly get the attention of these. Cretinous ones. Candor gives you a look. Birds can't express these. <laughs> I say. <laughs> and while they're distracted, since we'll know exactly where the object is, we can then get it and move on. I can send Tanger to his pocket dimension and he'll be safe. Provided that they don't catch up to him or shoot him down before that. I mean, I could also invisible a little buddy <laughs> who doesn't need to breathe and swim underwater for us in the blue fortress. So that's if little true. buddy goes underwater deep and you know where it is. Uh, that's true. All no, right. little buddy, you'll be fine. You'll be invisible. Uh, they won't see you. We're also assuming there's nothing else dangerous in the waters. So. That's true, but my, my method of looking at the water will hopefully confirm that as well. Well, let's do the scouting first. Uh, no, yeah, let's find out where yeah, it is. Yeah, find out where it is. Uh, so, a DM question. If I... If Little Buddy's holding a thing, and I dismiss him to the pocket dimension, and then we summon him. Would he still be holding it? Uh, depends on what it is. If it's, it's a magical, magical circle. Item. I'm sorry. A magical circle. Uh, no, I think it would drop to the ground. Oh, right, well, I'm, I'm not gonna let you take magical stuff to an alternate dimension. Well, not just keep it there. <laughs> like he, he, like I'm assuming he's frozen there until I summon him back, and then it's in his hand still. Not so. certain, but I think familiars are actually banned from using magic items anyway. From using, I don't. I think they could, like. He could physically pick up a thing. <laughs> I'm not going to let you hack them. the inventory yeah. space. That sounds like a no. Uh, All right. I, mean, I wanted it for a quick I got to look up. Though. I got to look up what I was looking up anyway. All right, so I'll clarify. You can't take magical stuff that way. Okay. Or quest items. That's, I mean, that's fair. That's yeah. entirely fair. But if you gave I'm him trying like, to break the system. Yeah. I'll be honest. <laughs> Everyone give me a perception check. Girls staring at us. <laughs> oh no! They're like five feet away. <laughs> uh, 12 and 13. Uh, 10. 22 and 20. Only a 14. Yeah, sure, 20. Nice. Cade, uh, you've had some time to sort of scope the place out. The water is really like murky. Like it seems like it's just like you can't see the bottom of the lake. It's not very deep. Like they're standing, they're just standing in, the, in this stuff. It's only like a couple of feet deep. Oh, But shallow. it's, it's, it's very shallow, absolutely. But it's all stirred up like silt. 
Is that recent? Did it, did it get stirred up since we've been here? No, just it's, that's just how it is. Yeah. Are we at the edge of the lake, but in a different part? Yes, of the park? I think that's serious. I'm going to cast Detect Magic and just be looking around. Okay. Yeah. Like, oh, it's... And Tori, will, just... will you be able to see through the water? It's sort of lift his chin and be like... Think, you don't spot anything. I think these birds may have messed with it. I wasn't counting on that. It will be difficult to see unless I get very lucky. Starting to fear we're running out of options other than directly dealing with them. Although sending Tanger away as a distraction may still be a decent idea. Yeah, if nothing else, it may scatter some of them. I would rather fight fewer than more. Well, why don't we attempt to scout first? Is it possibly to do so? Or... And Toria pulls out a bottle and kind of shakes it a little. One and done. Oh. So no. Well, like, again, I could potentially summon a water elemental. And... It's certainly going to get their attention. Yeah. I'd say they'll probably just destroy it. Well, yeah, with go the water, water they're probably sink into it. Not be one with the water. Yeah. I like that idea. I, I actually like that idea. Because the water would be able to detect something in the water, presumably. However, if they lose the water elemental, it's, if they see it in the first place and then lose it, they'll probably be looking for something else to, that's responsible for it. We may be Marvin's already running the fireball. Yeah. Well, it would like, well let's let's <laughs> let's sort it out one way or the other. Either try to scare them off with Tanger or or engage your water elemental to see if you can find it. We can get this going, and if well, one of these things bungles, it would just be ready to fight. Is it is it like a large lake? How big are these? Birds? Forty feet across. Feet. They're, They're like ten, 10 feet, feet tall. tall. The are lake there is any not baby big. Birds around, like smaller versions. You don't spot any, no. I guess the real question is, could we go to the other side? And yeah, you can not, walk to the other side. No and not like, probably not disturb them. No, you would. They're there. Okay. You're, you're on the exact opposite side from where they're. This gotcha. one of my other thoughts was we could do seeming, and all just look like baby birds wandering around this place, and maybe they wouldn't fuck with us. Like I can make us all look like slightly larger than we are now, but. We're, we're not going to get 10 feet out of the spell. Wait, wait, is the plan just to make you look 10 feet tall <laughs> no, no, and no, then no. pretend to be birds? No, 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 <laughs> like, no, no, no. I can't make us 10 feet tall. Do you have inspiration right now? Because I, I got to take it away from you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the plan is literally the opposite of what you said. Oh, I can't God. make us 10 oh, feet tall, I see, I but see. I can make us look like non 10 foot tall birds. Right, okay. That's why I was like, like you guys are baby on. birds. Yeah. Okay. So, so I can make us look like smaller birds. Fine, let's. Let's won't stand on ceremony any longer. Is Wack the Klutz? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, yes. That's, Would you that's mind? My name. What? Why don't we see if you can if you can use your water magic to uh, to scour the lake? And if that fails, or they detect it, then right. Marcus and I will kill them, which is what we were going to do anyway. Well, what'll make this easier is could somebody draw what a circlet looks like? Yeah. That would make this a lot easier. Uh, Cassie will try and draw one out real quick. Uh, do we know what it looked like exactly from the... No. no. We didn't ask. But it's, uh, I mean... It's a snake size. A circlet circuit. about the size to fit on the snake form of the bubble. Yeah, so it's just kind of big. Yeah. But he just had a normal human head, right? Yeah. So it's just a, so yeah. it's a circlet. It's just a circlet. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. He's just being a snake. I mean, bam, one done. Uh, Wait, let no, me no, see. That's... No. <laughs> That's a circle, not a He's circle. Like Poison like found it. <laughs> we, need, we need a third dimension, please. Yeah, well, can this, you, this can, is... you, can you roll performance for your Actually, object? can can I roll performance? Absolutely. For... You should Bam. do that instead yeah. of relying on your, your human. Because right. I, like, I am not nearly as good as Chess as Cassius. Right. I only assume Cassius spends a lot of time sketching. Uh, that's going to be 15 plus 15, 30. Okay, you can Google what a circlet looks like and show it to Zor. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hold on to that, and then he begins to make yeah. water elemental. How long does that take? A minute. Okay. The birds attack. Yeah. They don't. Like, I'm... Not can I just that. cast Seeming on us in the meantime? Because I have not used that spell this entire game, and I want us to look like... A standing wave appears in your midst. Oh. Greetings. We need you to fetch this object from this lake. Close to what looks like. The water elemental like holds out like a digit, like looking at you. Can I tell what it's saying? Can I tell what it's saying? I guess I've been studying a little bit. <laughs> yeah, uh, Zor, Zor, you can give me. Um, not that. You can give me just an intelligence check. 
It's not primordial? It's not. No, he's speaking aqua. Do you guys have things to give me for that? Because it's not. <laughs> I give you Bardic Inspiration. You can add it to Yeah, that would be good. That would be great. <laughs> you can roll first. Uh, yeah, here you go. You're good. Right, I'm pretty good. Uh, that is a 22. Uh, so oh, you, minus one. <laughs> you you can't make out a lot of the words that you're putting together here, but you get one that you think is maybe like clumsy. No, oh, no. <laughs> yes, yes, I am. I am the klutz. But <sighs> please, since I've brought you to this realm, if you could do this one thing this for us, cool. that would be very appreciative. Of How does the spell work? <laughs> He's so I, I can command it. Oh, okay. But you don't have to bargain with it or something. No, like that. this okay. isn't a bargain thing. That was the um, All right, you show him a picture of the circlet. Is that yeah. right? Okay. Okay. Well, it sinks into the uh, lake actually, and basically just disappears for everyone that's not Zor. Right. Um, and maybe after like thirty minutes or so, it sort of re-emerges. Yeah, absolutely. Tiberius is thinking of going back to the bottle. But after about 30 or 40 minutes or so, it slithers and reforms and has the thing sort of dangling oh, from an appendage. Well done. well done. So much easier than I expected this to go. Hooray! Thank you, Spirit of Water. I just missed it. <laughs> <laughs> it, it explodes and everyone gets wet. <laughs> and the birds go, <laughs> Well... That was easy. Good work, Zork. Let's go. Cassie has seeming on the party. Let's go. Let's <laughs> just go. Nothing happens. Oh, I'll never right. get to use that spell. Cool. Does it have to be a willing target? No. Like, when you get a save against okay. it. Uh, but Cassie's going to try and make the entire party look like... No. Someday. Uh, I, someday. You'll get your chance. It's just going to be... When they're like, least expecting it. Everyone's going to be asleep. And she's going to cast seeming so everyone looks like a bird. History's greatest villain. <laughs> So I guess two days of travel to get back to the uh, shrine, assuming that's Yeah, we bucket. Yep, you know absolutely. Mean, burr, burr. I just, you know, the elemental is friendly to us, and I can command it. I give it uh, any verbal commands. The problem was, verbal commands doesn't right. necessarily know what I'm saying. Sure. Well, uh, depending on the elemental, maybe it speaks common. Right. Or at least understands common. Okay. Uh, is there like a percentile roll of... There is definitely a chance, <laughs> depending on how long we've spent on the encounter. Oh! <laughs> no, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. That was a, that was a good solution. Um, okay, so you guys arrive back to the temple around uh, midday, a couple of days later, and sure enough, the fellow does not bother with the disguise this time, but simply waits for you on the steps. Yeah, that's just oh. Step up and gesture to Zorak and Clutz. Right? He's the one carrying it. <laughs> We've retrieved what you wish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gently, but not And then it like explodes. I, I, I really, <laughs> side note, I really should have cast Identify on this, identify. and I don't know why I didn't yeah. over the last two Well, days. you had Detect Magic still going. Yeah. It did not show up as magical. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, like, fuck it. It's an artifact, so it's much more dangerous. Many, yeah. many thanks. You are true to your word. I, I have... Recompense prepared. It slithers back into the temple, and shortly after, with a big, just leather satchel just clenched in its jaws, in somewhat indignified fashion, <laughs> drops it at Zorak's feet. Zorak the Klutz's feet. It's full of eggs. <laughs> <laughs> These are Zorak's eggs. How did this even happen? Yeah. These are my kids. <laughs> <laughs> They're yours now, suckers. Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm never paying that bitch money again. <laughs> no. <laughs> what do we have here? <clears throat> Suitable rewards for researchers such as yourselves. There's a fair bit of loot in here. We'll get to that in a second, maybe. Cassius, the um, My end of the bargain. The Pyrene are known to have monuments in the southern reach, past the scorpion plains. Look for the rock in the shape of a star. <laughs> scorpion plains, understood, thank you. Do you know of, uh, what's the, the mass, the Moscow, is that how you say it? The Moscow is the how you say it, like, yes. Do you know anything of the Moscow, the disappearing city? It's the lost cities, not in my, uh, 
experience well, an easy uh, place to visit. Well, then I believe that's everything. <clears throat> Cassie will politely, before we leave, ask if there's like a story you could share of history that she could have. Um. No, he. F- you get the sense that he's like experiencing. He's done. He's, it's not so much that he's, like, done, but he seems to, like, be experiencing a fair degree of social, ang- excuse me, social anxiety. And, like, even this degree of, like, interaction is, like, kind of pushing him to his limit. So he's, like, kind of antsy to get back to... Thank you very much for, for all that you've done. Cool, okay, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, can, you can aim me if you want. <laughs> At me. At me next time. <laughs> well then. Yeah. Let's, let's start working our way yeah. south. Um, I suppose we can figure out what all the gave us once we're on the, on the ship. Uh, so, in the satchel you find um, a number of small relics. None of them appear to be magical. Um, but a lot of them uh, look like they're worthwhile in terms of like um, sales to collectors and stuff like that. I'm going to try and study them as much as possible, too. Um, altogether, that is worth 8,000 gold. Holy oh, snap! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> there is also a strange triangular piece of iron with a gold feather engraved on it that does radiate magic. Identify. It uh, does not show up as a magical item that you're aware of. However, it uh, uh, projects uh, evocation magic. Give me an Arcana check. Can I do my circles and... Yeah, absolutely. You would have gotten this spell back by now. Nat 20. Natural 20. This um, matches up with one of the loose connections that you saw inside of the Stone Dwarf. (laughs) Guys, guys, However, 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 it is not enough on its own to make those connections. (laughs) Guys, okay, there's a side class here, and it's really... Really important to me. Why? <laughs> because I'm like at least 88% sure I can drive that dwarf around and be in a giant dwarf. If just... you want to drive it around, just animate it. Why are we talking about these pieces of. We have a mission to be on. But think of how cool it would be to do the mission in a giant dwarf. I'm not interested part. in being. You, you cool. said we needed more. I'm yeah. interested. We'll eyes out. Why didn't you just animate it? You can stick around with the snake. I, and I don't have any of my for that large. Do you? Yes. Oh. Of course he does. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's also already magical. I have killing any other further magic on it. No. I'm well, sure. I'm no master wizard, as yourself, but I'd be surprised if that would work. Regardless. Already A wizard. Planted. Oh no! We don't have all the pieces that we need anyway. We Let's head to the so if, we, if we find the rest. I mean, it's on our way back. That seems to be the best yeah, direction I, to head. Yeah, my starting to head do, south. Do, 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 and then search again. Well, it gave us a direction, right? At least right yeah. south, south, yeah, south, 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 okay. south of the Scorpion Plains. So then, I guess that would be so the best. Three days to get to that spot here. One, two, three. Okay. And then we scan. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, one success. Fail. One success. Thank God. I failed once. Oh, wait, I re rolled ones. <laughs> nice. What up? Two yeah. successes. Yeah. Two nice. successes. What does a yellow tile symbolize? Ah, so that is a flat uh, desert terrain. So, unlike the dunes that you've just emerged from, this is the Scorpion Plains, a completely desolate um, uh, plain of sand. How many scorpions? You don't see any scorpions. As a matter of fact, your uh, search doesn't seem to reveal anything. There's a whole lot of nothing. Interesting. Should we? Uh, 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 <laughs> yeah, so I guess next up would be to go here and scan again. Agreed. Yeah. Okay. That would move us even further, but personally. Well, this is all the scorpions. Like yeah. 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 You didn't specify southwest or east. We don't want to miss yeah. anything. All right, so we are searching again from our new location. Okay. So that, that was a 15 DC? Yeah. Okay, fail. Two successes. One success. success. How do you get two? I have a little body. So you or your familiar can uh, succeed. One success then. Okay, one. And Tori and I had both been saying two for a while. That's fine. So I thought yeah. you know, okay. Natural crit. Natural crit. <laughs> Natural crit, yes. <laughs> Which, okay. Yeah. So, but yeah, if you have a familiar, that's 
a chance for you to succeed on that. Okay. I think that's fair. Okay, oh. that's fine. One quick side question. Yes. Can I, can I still do my study? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, study the dark magic that yes. you were secretly. I mean, I'm, what? I'm becoming a lich, so. It, Cassio looks for the <laughs> brain of Jarnath. Me too! If, if anyone ever we're drops, all liches! If anyone ever drops in on Zori's. Cassio the liches! In like a strange language at night. I like that it's in your party. Cassio the liches. What's the uh, search results? Uh, so to the southwest, you see. Um, not like a structure or anything like that, but you see some terrain that looks a little bit more. Um, well traveled than um, what you're uh, accustomed to seeing here in the plains. To the southeast, you see uh, some smoke rising. This one? Yes, that's it. And the others are empties. Okay. Hmm. Where there's smoke, there's interesting things. <laughs> there's Marvin. Oh, God. <laughs> we go the other way, we don't stop. It's pretty much true, though. Smoke could indicate the relatively recent presence of something, no? Uh, yes. Of course, well-traveled area also could mean we're getting close to our city. I don't... I got the yeah. impression our city was not well-traveled. True. Or in one location. Quite the opposite. Smoke could be that the city was there recently and moved away in another direction. Well... Well, for well-traveled area as well, we don't necessarily want to run into that there's there's snakes. We could avoid both and oh, go between them. We, just, we could just. Are these eligible out. spots? Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. why is there a boat on the neighborhood? Because if you guys encountered something while you're on the boat, uh, we would use that. One of those creatures caught up to us. Mm -hmm. the, yeah, the thing. That's yeah. why I've been <laughs> booking it. Yeah. No, all every one of those hexes is a valid space. Okay. Oh. But we haven't been that far yet. Well, right. So. The smoke seems potentially interesting. It could I also be smoke. dangerous, but. I mean, everything's dangerous. Fair. Sure. Smoke. I guess we're going smoke town. Oh, I suppose. Let's go smoke. Smoking's for losers. Let's go vape. Okay. No. I thought you weren't <laughs> under his command anymore. <laughs> You've changed. You've changed. The vaping holds me. Success. Nice. Success. Success. One success. So a couple of miles uh, off, you guys spot a bandit camp. Looks to be sort of a small, hastily built kind of a fortress. Evil um, doers, we need to stop them. You spot so a number of the weird, like, warped tanks that you guys saw on your tra travel to... Oh, uh, uh, those guys who are following us? Yeah. Well, uh, finish what you were saying, because I don't sure. remember this. <laughs> so... Remember when you were heading to Trade Nest, uh, you are riding oh, those giant worms? Okay. Um, you guys spotted some uh, yeah. raiders that were apparently just watching you. Yeah. That was these guys. Let's say, um, oh God, what was, what's the girl's name that Jen, Jen. keeps ignoring? <laughs> <Jen>. <laughs> he's just, he's, she's just in his phone as just like that girl. Yeah. <laughs> Kern, Kern girl. Kern girl. <laughs> Good old KG. Oh, God. Uh, like, uh, I mean, you can call me that if you want. Yeah. But... <laughs> Jin mentioned their new leader, the Red King. Apparently, he's trying to unify some of the bandits out here. But she said they're mostly, mostly pretty easy to beat back. Whew. We could. Uh oh. Everyone, give me a perception check. Uh -oh. Can I include a familiar? Oh, God. Yeah, absolutely. Fifteen. Seventeen. Natural one. Natural twenty and a twenty-two. Sora's like looking at the back of the boat. Seventeen. There's um, a, a crew of them setting out from the forest headed your direction. They seem to have noticed us. I can't seem to make everyone look like Bert. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, <laughs> they made us a little more area. Them. I mean, they ride these sounds a lot. And if you want to do a favor to your favorite sorcerer, can you? I mean, we, we, and just, the party we should start with the hail and well met, travelers. Uh, I think they'd be more impressed by power than politeness. Well, if we're going to challenge them, perhaps we should do it away from the boat so they don't damage it. So yes, says Tiberius. <laughs> Excellent idea. Let's go after Kate will, them. Kate will jump out from the boat and step in and walk towards them. He'll draw his war pick, but keep it at his side before he goes along. Hey, Kate! Catch. He throws you the broom. <laughs> <laughs> Why, why did he have it? He will hit to anyone else. We already know he has sticky fingers. Yeah. Cassie flies away and leaves forever. <laughs> he has 
to Kate has to do a Quidditch match against the Rangers. Fly into the sunset. Uh, Fast forward. Look, it's just like, how did I agree to this? <laughs> Cassie's yeah, so just gonna look for the other dwarf mech pieces. And fly. Are you guys just gonna wait to, to meet these guys? They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna walk, walk out to meet them. All right, yeah. everyone what? screamed. Lobos, what are you guys doing? <laughs> yeah, we're walking out. It's okay. Crazy. I put invisibility on myself. Boat. Okay, you're invisible. You're away from the boat, presumably like out of eye shot of it. I'm just taking point. I assume we're. I assumed in eye shot, so they don't attack the boat right away. They just. Kendra's staying at the boat as a okay. Uh, so riding up these, there's maybe like a dozen of these guys. Um, they span the uh, the slave races pretty um, uh, broadly. There's moles. There's a couple of dwarves. There's a Taric. Um, there's a couple of you know stranger looking fellows. There's a Nikal. Um, there are um, a couple of brogs who are the four-armed guys that you guys have seen before that have sort of like donkey faces. Oh, those, they're, real, they're, oh, real. they're pretty dr yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, But they're all riding these massive, like, demented-looking tanks, and they're all sort of like chortling and the as, the as they form <laughs> they form sort of a semicircle in front of you guys. And uh, one of the Ter or the Tarek sort of uh, yes. marches forward. Tarek, bird, or orc? I can't remember. Tarek is the pigman orc. Okay, orcs, yeah. got it. Yeah. So the orc rides forward. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Yeah. Okay, will take a step forward. <sighs> We're travelers, We're treasure hunters. We've been seeking these wastes. We don't have any trouble with you or the Red King. <laughs> Are you giving me a check of some kind? I mean, sure. Persuasion, I guess. Because you're telling the truth. Inti yeah. Or okay. intimidation? Not, or... I mean, he said we don't have any trouble with them. That's the worst intimidate I've ever had. I don't know. 22 on persuasion. Where are you headed? Good question. We're looking for the Moscow. And we're looking for a star shaped stone in the Scorpion Plains. Uh, not, not in the plains, south of it. Oh, Do you want to mark it on our map? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> he hops down off his kank and like, yeah. yeah. You huddle around. <laughs> like, I have my phone out. So it's, we turn right. So it's two. Oh, it's a slight right. <clears throat> oh, fuck. He marks the spot two hexes south from where you're at. Oh, my God. <laughs> Kate, of all people, get hey, the blood of persuasion on bandits. What? Well, I mean... <laughs> Like Kate, on, Kate only resorts to killing when people don't give him what he wants. <laughs> All you have to do is go along with everything he says and everything will be fine. I've never seen this happen it's before. It's never though. happened. Like, Kate, Kate himself doesn't know what to do. He <laughs> kills the guy out of instinct. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. It's fine. <laughs> I would have done the same yeah, thing. I'm an orc. This is what we're for. No, just, Do you know anything? We, we prefer Tarek. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Terror. Somebody said Lord of the Rings in chat. I just can't <laughs> stop. Be like, do you know anything about the movements of Damascus? Mm. I know it's difficult to track down. Yeah, we don't really bother too much with it. All right. Well, we have no trouble with you if you have none with us. Mm. Good day. To you as well. Come on, boys! <laughs> 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 No one can see the face Cassie is making right now. No, no one can. Just, she's so low to the ground. No one can. No, I'm invisible. Oh. She's invisible. But she's just like, invisibly going, what even? Well, Toria's kind of looking between Kay and the departing bandits. He looks at Kay and the departing bandits. He's like, what? Tiberius just shakes his head and pulls the bottle out. <laughs> what? <laughs> so we're actually like, watch up like, actually. <sighs> Cassie climbs back into the boat, oh. takes the bottle oh. too. I thought for sure I would have been able to smash something, but all right. They went along with what we had. Tiberius asked. hands you the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> all I just know, so, so <laughs> all I know is that Cade was talking and there was no fight, so I don't know what happened. Yeah, here. look, you saw it too. Battled. I thought it was a, I thought it was an illusion. I'm, I'm None of us have ever seen this before. It's Did you use some kind of spell on them? <laughs> Did, when we leveled up, did you take a new spell? <laughs> oh, <laughs> he took down a person, and that's what. Just went, oh. All right. Let's Let's everyone else is learning things in their dreams. Kate's taking anger management classes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Caltus is really working them through some issues. Fuck this city. <laughs> 
Yes. I'm sorry that you feel that way. Like, <laughs> look, yes, you're all very funny. It's not <laughs> difficult. If you don't stand between me and my mission, you get to live. It's just that everyone we meet stands between me and my mission, That's so I have to kill them. Surprise. Everyone That's... we meet except the bandits, apparently. They're yeah. fine. Why were they the reasonable ones? I don't know. Apparently they love their lives. Most people seem to be not too wary of death. <laughs> That's fair. Well, should, should we get moving before yes, they change yes, their minds? Yes. Well, well yes. done. Well done. Excellent. Thank you. Let's just book it to it's the nice south. to be appreciated. Heading south to, I guess, where yeah. they indicated on the map. I'm assuming, sure. of course, it's not like their base or something. Yeah. yeah. It is not <laughs> their base. Okay. I have one success scouting for Every day I'm testing you to everyone, so everyone's getting <laughs> That's 15 extra HP. Oh, yeah, that's... that's you said, said every day I'm kissing Ada. I was like, oh. who the fuck is Ada, first of all? It's my wife! It's my wife! At the start of every time we, like, see something interesting, we're about to engage with it, I'm casting a shield spell, too. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, my man. God, I love this One game. Success. <laughs> One success. Success. Okay. success. We have scouted the mark that was marked. Okay. Oh, man. Well, you do, in fact, find a strange star-shaped rock. You find... Um, it almost looks like... If you imagine like a cartoon depiction of like a comet or something like that, where it's got sort of just like a, a head and then spikes sort of like jutting out of it. Almost like that sort of like... Yeah, like that. But almost like just that almost just made of... Not quite metal, but not quite stone either. Some sort of a weird, like, glistening this? thing. Massive in size. It's like a hundred feet tall, if that. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> sit, you have to hang the green screen tennis ball. I'm sorry, yeah. Like yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Polo. Uh, green screen polo. Uh, but aside from that, there, it's literally just that. There's no, like similar smaller kind of formations. It literally looks like it just fell out of the sky and is just like sitting here. Head first, spikes jutting up into the sky. Didn't the dust dragon supposedly come from the stars as well or something? Is uh, that a thing that I believe the that's dust That's lavos. I believe the thing that I believe the dust kraken came from another realm of being. Marvent fell from the sky and unfortunately landed from on the From the zone of truth. Yeah. Instead of I, messing I, I, it, I hurling in space just, for all time. Yeah, I thought I remember Kate doesn't hearing, know what space is. Yeah, I thought I remember hearing something fell from the stars. And I it was remember. the Warbringer. Okay. So what did the Snake fellow say about about the Star Rock once we found it? That's, That's what the pirate thing was, yeah. Well, did we already do our search? Yeah. I mean, you've just found the found place. Thing. That's it. Okay, yeah. well, let's do our search and see what we can look <clears> for. Sure. Well, it's a local search guide. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yep, success. I got a success. Fail. Okay. Yeah. Twenty-two. Success. So, um... <laughs> oh, it's right there, under your oh, it's, it's gone forever. So, there's a couple of things that you know about this thing. First of all, it looks like this thing is just made of... It's firing steel, basically. <laughs> It's... Uh, Marcus is like... <laughs> <laughs> well, you grab one end. <laughs> <laughs> Strength checks. Um, the second part is that um, just based on like the way the thing seems to have broken off, it looks like maybe this is like... It almost looks like the tip of like a mountain was just like snapped off or something like that and fell off. Oh. The, the break marks on the, the higher spikes just sort of belie that it was... It didn't like grow these spikes. It seems to have snapped off in some way. Um, the last thing that you note is that it has a faint magical aura, but you're not sure of what sort it is. Marcus, is this uh, like look at Chevron? Well, you've got to be kidding. Actually, this much of it. Do you, do you do that? Yeah. I think that gives you necrotic damage. Does it? I've never actually yeah. handled that. Actually, I feel like I've tossed him Chiron before. Yeah. I, okay. No, you're fine. Yeah, okay. I feel like I've thrown it to him after he lost it. <laughs> yeah, I also killed him once. Uh, I and you mention it. Really? What are you doing? Is it so like, look, 
Do you do you actually see out of this? I've never done this. Yeah, it's so like point. It blinks at you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> gross! The shield does that. He wouldn't care. It's all so <laughs> gross. <laughs> oh, that's they gross. Each other. They blink at each other. Yeah. Yeah. They, oh, they this is weird. I don't like it. Well, anyway, <laughs> like this, this is pyrene steel, is it not? Well, yeah, but I don't like. Magical. Touch him to it. They touch don't all know it. each other. <laughs> You'll touch him to it. Uh, dink. Dink, dink, dink. <laughs> Ow. You're, how did that what do, you what do you expect I to happen just, here? I was just making sure that this was actually pyrene steel. It seemed ludicrous. There's an open much. wound here. Ow. You're a don't stare at my wound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now we don't know what at all. I don't suppose this is a, a forge, but it might look different than what we would expect. Either side, side. Yeah, can you perhaps tell <laughs> somehow? Perhaps we should look around. We did. Yeah, yeah we should search the. Oh, okay. yeah. If it fell off of something, perhaps it fell off of something nearby. Maybe well, surveying. Can you contend you see it from the top? Is it maybe it open? That should be possible. And for I will send Tanger up to see if he can see. Sure. There there is not a uh, opening up top. No openings or anything else of the sort. Perhaps there's a way inside somehow. If there is. We didn't find it yet. We can keep searching, but Tessia, I'm not sure there's actually anything here. Doesn't your rod, your no, there's an idea. Do you, what is it called? Synod. The synod. It's. So it is reacting, but it's reacting in a different kind of way than you've experienced before. Like uh, my interpretation, that I, I my theory that I would like to sort of see if it makes sense. Mm -hmm. This is something that it reacts with, in principle, like it's designed to react with pyrene steel. But this is not built or configured or designed in a way that it would react with it. Like it's just, like oh, I, it's I'm just metal. reacting. Yeah, yeah, it's just. It's almost like a, a Geiger counter or something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so it's it's like responding, but there's nothing else other than like just the reaction of like yes, that stuff is there. Yeah, it's not. There's, this it's very device is not programmed. It's one hundred percent raw material. Yeah. Okay. I relay that to the party. Um, hmm. It looks like it broke off of something. That no, something may be nearby if we search. Well, maybe okay. other areas. At the very least, perhaps we should take some extra just in case. I don't think we can. Break it off. Harvesting. Well, the, the it, only thing we it looked like there was a massive thing that shattered here. Perhaps there'd be pieces around. That's around. a good thought. Oddly, there is none. Picked clean, it's probably a long time ago, anyway. I suspect. I mean, it's pyrene steel. <clears throat> For all we know, this is the very source of all this pyrene steel in Athos. And you guys were wondering if this was hollow. I think I could figure that out. By all means. Uh, Burnin', Burnin', no. The end question, is it hollow? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Burn in the dim high level spell slots. Cause, yeah. Yeah. Uh, if I do etherealness, I think I miss it. <laughs> if I turn it everyone really into birds, so what, <laughs> what does that tell I'm gonna, me? I'm going to tell the party I'm going to cast etherealness, and I need everyone to be willing for what's about to happen. Okay. And then I can just turn everyone into birds. <laughs> uh, let me look up etherealness real quick. Uh, oh, are you ethereal? No, you're full of etherealness. You step into the border regions of the ethereal plane into an area that overlaps with the current plane. You remain in this border, uh, border of ethereal for the duration until you use an action to dismiss the spell. During this time, you can move in any direction. Yep. If you move up or down, if you move up or down, every foot of movement costs an extra foot, so apparently I can fly. Uh, I can see and hear the plane I originated from, but everything there looks gray. Uh, while on the ethereal plane, you can only affect or be affected by other creatures on that plane. You ignore all objects and effects that aren't on the ethereal plane, allowing you to move through objects and perceive the plan you originated from. Yep. Uh, and it lasts for eight hours. Yep. It's not even, oh my god, this isn't even concentration. Nope. Wow, yeah. Broke. Uh, this is a wonderful are spell. You, are you doing the thing? Yeah, let's do the thing. I'm okay. Gonna, I'm going to do a theory on this. I'm going to like, poke my head into mm -hmm. it, see if it's hollow. It is completely solid. Uh, completely solid. Float up to the top. So the top is n not completely solid. Um, but it is, it's not just like empty either. Mm -hmm. Um, what you discover is, um, you float up, or I guess you float up like around the outside of it and then like down inside. Yeah, yeah, I'm sort of probing <clears throat> and stuff. And basically like if you look up, it's like you're looking at a floor. 
And if you look down, you're looking at a ceiling. Oh, okay. It's upside down. It is. Because it was, it was like the top of a thing that broke and fell off. Yes. And it's like top down. And yep. But it's, it's a room. Does it look like there's any entrances and exits that are currently... There's some entrances and exits that go to like different rooms in here, but everything else seems to have like crumbled and sealed off with whatever impact happened. Okay. Uh, I'll look through the other rooms and see if I can like figure anything out. Okay. Give me a investigation check. Uh, 16. You don't find anything. Oh. Everyone else, give me a perception check. 23. 23. 16. Natural 20 and a 15. Each of you sees on the horizon smoke as more gigantic ant riding bandits arrive. But the thing is that each of you like sees it on the horizon and like turns to tell everyone else but all of you are looking at different horizons Peru will use a message to contact Cassia and says we have lots of company <laughs> that's unfortunate uh, I'll come back towards the ship Okay. and uh, I will message back saying, well dr drifting in from high up yeah, above yeah, in the air some time. you can see literally hundreds of these bandits some riding ants, some riding um, what look like Crodlu, but like mutant. There's some with a couple of different heads. There's one guy riding a Makelot, which is like one of the gigantic Whoa. turtle things. Nice. And there is this enormous <laughs> um, caravan, basically, that looks like it's being pulled by a couple of war drixes, which are these even like meaner, like snapping turtle looking things. And they're hauling this thing that looks like. It looks like Xerxes' throne, basically, where it's just a big outdoor, like, massive thing built out of refuge. <clears throat> so this is the Red King, presumably. The Red King is arriving, and as you guys sort of take your positions, you are surrounded by hundreds and hundreds of bandits that are chortling. Except for one. One Tarek who's just sort of like... <laughs> <laughs> well, it was that guy that was nice to us. And... <clears throat> Yeah. But he has his legs kicked out from under him as he's made into a step as descending from the platform is the heavily, like, he's wearing, like, three or four different hoods and robes. He's wearing as, it's like this hodgepodge of just scavenge royalty signifiers or whatever. He's got, like, a crown that's got three crowns on top of it. That has also a circlet and a mustache, no, and each of those head. have like earrings hanging off of them. And he lifts off this massive crown and throws back his hood, and then throws back his hood, and like just tears the other one in half, and then like lifts the mantle up off. And Casimir is like tapping his foot, like waiting to figure out what's going yeah, on here. Yeah, like back to back with everyone. <laughs> And then, like, <laughs> and then, like, a privacy curtain gets put in place for them to, like, disassemble the next, like, cocoon that he has surrounding him. And, like, that takes off, like, a couple of feet of, like, his whole rest. stance. <laughs> and then when they pull... <laughs> oh, come on! Cast, cast dominate person and suggest that he just say, Everyone, let's just go. You can, no, do, no. you can do that in a minute, because as the privacy curtain is taken away, you're somewhat relieved, but mostly just disgusted to see Roxix, triumphant, wearing finally a crown, just the one crown that sits atop his dome. Was this the guy who based himself in honey at, uh... Party. No. Like the, no, oh, no. no, that's, that's Sean. Oh, okay. You haven't met this guy. Okay. You haven't met me. Well, I but you will. You can't see me. I'm still in the ethereal plane. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll pick up with Roxix, I think, next week. Okay. So Cassie has no idea who this guy. Is. That helps. Good game. Good game. Can't wait to finally. What's can't he doing wait to join here? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Point of order, Hamanu probably got to Naivene and cleaned up business yeah, like a yeah, month ago. I mean, yeah. you guys were busy for two weeks in the water plane. Hamanu's not a slouch when it comes to war making. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like he was fighting a unified army. I mean, he just strolled up to a town in the middle of a little civil war. He said, nope. <laughs> we'll find out. Yeah. Next we week. will. Indeed. Good game, everyone. Thank you yeah. so much. Lesson learned. Kill everybody. <laughs>
Um, gosh, thank you for playing. Thank you guys for hanging out. Um, always a treat. I uh, hope you enjoyed our exploration. We'll get to some more, um, some more, maybe, maybe a little bit of a tussle. Who knows? Maybe Kate will talk his way out of another, another uh, little jam. I have a really high persuasion score. He I does. Just, I just always oh, and, a his, and a history of a good relationship with Roxas. Yeah, they got along yeah. great. Yeah, Can absolutely. Man. I mean, I've got plus 15 and a Stranger has five happened five. today. True. Um, <laughs> join us on Thursday as we play some more of that good, good Sherlock Holmes goodness. And I'll see you on Monday for more games. Um, I played Player Unknown's Battlegrounds yesterday. You can check the VOD out on that. How was it? Uh, it was really good. I got a boat. Nice. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Yep. I didn't win, but I got a boat. I feel like you won. I definitely did win the, the game. It's definitely yes. what happens. Personal goals. Personal the, goals. The great thing about having a boat was that no one killed me. <laughs> Especially not the dude that I murdered before he tried to take my boat. <laughs> oh, man. Check out the VOD. It was a lot of fun. Um, have a good night, everyone. Bye. Right, nice